Alright, class kita shall we continue eh? Kita continue on our second part of my presentation eh? about this product rendering and visualization. Alright, as I already explained to you, uh, the important about this product rendering is now. So our second part will be uh, the actual thing. So how do we do this? I just show you basic guys. I not uh, actually I'm not training you to become a three D artist and eh? not not uh, just my. Just kind of like briefing, give you awareness uh, about this thing, the advantage of this 3D rendering. Eh? Um, okay, the first thing for the second part um, about I mentioned to you is about the software that we're going to use. Eh? Uh, how do we interact between SOLIDWORKS and eShot? Just now I mentioned to you, we have step five. Eh? And first, we export our model into rendering software. Then after step two, then we give assigned material and then we set, uh, drop the background image, photo to the background and then assimilate uh, the perspective and we do some lighting, lighting and so on. And then we do at the end, uh, uh, position of the camera and we do rendering. So this is the basic step. Uh, that's why we need to show to you this for this part two, eh, for this presentation. Okay, the first thing I need to show you is my solid work. Eh. Okay, I'll share you my solo. Club, I'll show you what club. Class. Okay, sir. Okay, this is your solo one. Okay, yours will be different, uh, class, because you, all of you different titles. Eh? Okay, this is a sample. This is just example for you as a guideline for you. Eh? So, let's say you already have your solo work uh, complete uh, set of assembly file. Eh? Or all your product is there intact. Eh? As assembly drawing from your SOLIDWORKS. So we need to visualize this thing. We need to visualize. Okay, if you look at my SOLIDWORKS, I already have an icon here. An icon here. Uh, this is already there here. If it will dynamic link with the key shot. It will have live link with key shot because I already installed it, installed the software. Okay, one thing, number one is the software itself, the key shot, the rendering software. So what about the software? So the software, let me share you in the photo. Share yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay, I'm going to my browser. Class. Browser, browser, say it. Browser, you can see Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, Keyshot. So, what is Keyshot? Keyshot is a popular software for product rendering, eh? product design, Keyshot. You just type Keyshot, eh? there's a Keyshot, yeah? This is a Keyshot, then, yeah, let me try this thing. Okay, you can try it, uh, but I need, it's not free, guys, actually, to tell you. This is, can uh, eh? but you can try it, try now. You try, try Keyshot. Yes, sir. Try Keyshot. Oh, they have 11.1. I'm using version 10. 11.1, kalau you try, much better. So, much better features they have it. So, you try, you sign in. So, I don't want to explain to you. I think you know how to do this. You can register, you can try, you can download it. Okay? Class, are you listening? Yes. Uh, you, yes just sign in. Uh, you just sign in. Yes, sir. You just sign in your email, set your password. I already have one, okay? And also another thing I need to show you because I'm talking about the live link. Macam mana how this in this solid world we have icon of the key shot. Okay, for to do that, okay, uh, saya dah lama tak buka, hold on. Macam mana dia punya ni? Uh, okay, hold on. Set case. Uh, under dia punya main website, uh, okay, hold on first, eh? You will, after you download first, your install your key shot first. Okay, I don't need to show lah. You register, install key shot, 30 days trial version. Eh? Plus, 30 hari. 30 hari lepas tu tak boleh pakai lah. Alright, 30 days trial version. Okay. And um, maybe you can, I don't know, macam mana you boleh extend your punya trial version. Okay. Apa-apa hmm. cerita nanti belakang cerita WhatsApp nanti I inform you eh. Ni cerita lain. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, another thing eh, they need to do you open the Keyshot website the main page eh, the main page product another thing about the live link so you have to install another additional plugin eh. I cannot recall uh, Keyshot uh, hold on hold on uh, yeah resources uh, download plugin yeah this one eh. tengok sini eh. Keyshot 
you have to after you install the key shot you have to install this one the additional thing uh, under resources here support uh, resources download plugins okay you scroll down you scroll down because it will live link to your any cat software that you are using for us we are using um apa tu solidware right so you go to bottom here until Mana SolidWorks dia? Haa ni. Nampak guys SolidWorks class. Hello. Class. Yes. Boleh dengar. SolidWorks. You click at SolidWorks. Uh, install this. Eh? I cannot. You just download and install it. Eh? So you will install in your laptop. You will install on your desktop lah. You, want, you just download and install it. Tahu kan? This thing kan? Install it. So it, it will create an additional plugin. Eh? Dynamic link library lah. Eh? Yeah, there, it will be dynamic link. After you install it, then you open your SolidWorks. Uh, then your SolidWorks will, will have okay at the beginning sometimes your SolidWorks don't have this eh? uh, it, um, it will have this kalau um, ini SolidWorks ni at this bar ni you know SolidWorks if you right click here you punya tool bar ni uh, sorry let me let, let me clear tools you, know, macam ni, you have after you install some, the icon will not appear here you restart back your SolidWorks <coughs> restore that live link word exit your SolidWorks Okay, open again, then you see uh, there is no icon here. What is that thing? You mean you have go to tools, you go to add-ins. Can, can you, are you watching my solid work, guys? Boleh nampak, eh, kelas? Boleh. Tools, add-in, then you must see on can, on can the, the, yes, key shop plugin. Nampak sini, kan? Other add-in plugin. Since so, I already on it. Plus, hello class. Are you watching? Ni, click, click at this. Okay, shop line. Yeah, you click at this. Check this one. Show in. Then you click. Okay, then only this thing will be appear here. Okay, so it will be live link with the shop. Okay, I think um, class. Last week I already show you how to do motion study again. I did show you again. Class. If you have exploded view, so can do something. You know how to do that. Class, you know how to do this, right? In solid work, I don't, I don't have time to explain in solid work. So you know how to set this motion. This one, I put the motor. I think I did show you last week. Am I right? How I put motor rotation, remember? Class. Uh, yes. I did, I did show again. I did show to you again in the previous class again. I put motor, then how you set the, this. Um, actually, this, uh, what we can do in solid work, uh, uh, In SolidWorks, we have this. You can render this animation. Uh, so you have you. I already have this in rotated mode. Eh? Okay, I'm I'm I will try to focus in this shot right now. Eh? So you have a motor already. Any then you actually is rotated lah the blade. Eh? I just want to show basic one. If tomorrow I want to show you exploded lah any any kind different kind of different kind of animation, eh? different kind of animation. This one is just simple one with rotated blade. Eh? Just want to show it because in Kishore you want to render it either animation or you can render it still image lah. All right. Okay. Now how we that you already install your Kishore eh, and you have or install the plugin the Kishore plugin that is here already. Okay. This is your SolidWorks. Eh? So uh, SolidWorks. Then how you open Kishore? Uh, you open first your SolidWorks. Uh, open dulu your but you can also open individually so it's key shot no no problem you open your file manually uh, with the key shot file that you say but this one i'm explaining how we interact from solid work assembly file to key shot eh? and how how the workflow eh? so that's why i show you right now all right so you open your solid work then maybe you already set your motion analysis and so on okay Okay, around uh, in here, I just show this a protector. I put a motor here and then the plate is rotated. And okay, so if you look carefully at the upper icon here, we have send to Kishon. But class, hello class. The first icon here, send to Kishon. <coughs> class, are you there? Boleh nampak kan? Boleh, boleh. First one, eh? the first icon you are left, send to Kishon. So it will directly, live link will open your Kishon. Okay, you will say since... My SolidWorks have a motion study. I already put a motto. You mean have motion. So if your SolidWorks file just SMD, you just directly put shot. You, you don't want any motion. Any animation, just a plane. Still, uh, so as I also can, but you will not pop up like this because still I have a motion study. I just click yes. Eh? Just click yes. So it will directly open your key shot. Eh? So I think I need to close certain browser. It takes maybe it takes memory. 
Okay, you can see my. Okay, I I should share you my key shot. I'm not sharing key shot. It is opening the key shot actually. It's opening key shot. Can you see that? Class. So this is key shot interface. Class. Can you see my key shot? Yes. Okay, I do it again. Um, right, I don't have to restart. It. Okay, so you will open the key shot. So this is your solid my assembly solid wood is there. Okay, Kishore, the first thing, uh, you take note on this eh, because we have the center portion here is your screen, your screen, your viewport. Kishore, they don't have four. certain software like AutoCAD, you, they have four viewports. Eh. Certain software, they have four viewports. And, uh, Kishore, they have one, like you will solid work, so we have one viewport. Eh. Kishore, also, they have one main screen, eh, your view portion where you manipulate the object. Eh. You do your works here in the center, and you have a left menu here, and also you have a right menu. And let me, I, uh, I, I remind you again, I'm not actually to explain you guys to detail, eh, uh, to everything about each other. No, no, I just give you exposure only. Uh, maybe through my video, maybe give you some exposure, and you can explore more. Eh? The more you want to become no better, you explore it by yourself. Eh? I just give you exposure. Eh? It's my responsibility lah, just to make sure you know about this software. Basically, this basically. Okay, the center is your your nila. Okay, when when whatever software you use, yeah, guys, like um, T short, any 3D new package, that's it. It's a 3D new software that you use. The first thing that you must do about navigation. Take notes, yeah, navigation, right? Solid work. Solid work, much like navigation, guys. Navigation, solid. Navigation, that is very important. Navigation means what? How you Rotated like this. This is not rotated object. Your view, I should rotate your view. In solid work, what do you use for this? It's a rotate. This is solid work, guys. It's on Rotated. How we navigate? <coughs> Plus, ini apa? This is middle button mouse. Your scroll wheel, you press down. Betul tak, class? Class. Okay. This is solid work, again. When, how you zoom in, zoom out, scroll wheel. Zoom in, zoom out. How do we panning? Panning, solid work, macam Control and middle button mouse, again. That is solid work. Okay, okay. Any software, Keyshot is new to you. Any software, Keyshot, how do we navigate? Okay, arch rotate. In solid work, we arch rotate by middle button mouse, we hold down. The scroll wheel, we press scroll down. But in Keyshot, for us to navigate, to arch rotate your object, is just simply your click button mouse. Left button mouse, hold down. That is the different. Eh? Uh, this is how the main important thing, first thing that you should know, any 3D new package for you, how you navigate with this, you manipulate your object, you view eh? Just left bottom, uh, they're different from solid work. How are you zooming summer? Zooming, scroll your mouse, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. How are you pending? Uh, solid work, uh, key shot, uh, key shot, uh, yeah, key shot is just, uh, just pressing your middle button, uh, press your scroll wheel, hold down your scroll wheel, that will be pending, eh? pending your view. The object is not moving, guys. Our view is pending. Even like any left button mouse, object is not rotated. Our view is rotated. Okay, the first thing about Kishon, as I told you, the center is your viewport. Lah. Yeah. Okay, one thing, Kishon, you take note about this. Because my screen, I need to increase it. Because my background, it kind of, we have some border gray shaded. Uh, this one, you take note. Eh? Image, eh? this one, eh? at the right panel, we have image. Eh? It is extra thing. You have to increase it a bit. Yeah, eh? This one is the resolution of your image. Eh? Can you see the white area rectangle is quite small? Class, before that, saya explain macam ni, kau boleh bawa ke? Tentang software, it is not interactive. Eh? Boleh, eh? Just take note je lah. Eh? Boleh, boleh. Hello, boleh, eh? no problem. Eh? Okay. Alright. Uh, later, you can install screenshot. Then, other proper problem, you can ask me, WhatsApp me lah. You, you don't understand about something. Alright. Okay. Ni, I need to increase. Nampak tak? The background image white is quite small. I need to increase not to make the background image white. Eh? To be a little bit. Make sure that ni. Ini adalah your resolution of your image. Nampak here. This one, we have seen material, camera, environment. I'm telling you here. The last one, image. Image ni. Uh, you need to increase. Ni, this one, they, they, this one, they lock your aspect ratio, your length and your height. Eh? Uh, I need to increase it about 2,000 to make. Okay, sometimes it will not happen. You have to click and click the link. Uh, it's locked. Eh? Sorry, I have to unlock it. Call it the lock, the tablet chain. You have to unlock it. And uh, 2,000. I'm not going increase it. I just point it to, to, to print and body. Print. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to fully white screen. Eh? Sometimes it happens like that. Eh? So you can log in. Eh? Kalau you 
this a lot. Eh? Okay. All right. Okay, if you look, I already explained you about navigation just now. You okay, if you look this short, eh, whatever your okay, if you look at something, if you, if I drag down, if I rotate it like this, you look at much and kind of like the shadowing here. They actually key shot by default, they have a ground plane, guys. Eh? They have a ground plane, it's kind of like invisible ground plane. But in key shot, for example, in your camera, okay, in key shot like this pull your okay, before that, before I explain detail, uh, any software like this one is pulled down menu eh? we are quiet edit environment lighting camera image okay below that we have a tab nah, sub menu that's how it works and then we have what space okay i don't do explain detail whatever necessary i can explain to you we have a left menu and this one we have a right menu All right another thing that you should know eh? uh, I, as mentioned so they kind like by default they have a ground in mean your key shot so they have a ground plane eh? the ground plane eh? So we cannot see the ground plane. Actually, the ground plane can be on if you look on your camera. Your ground grid to your on camera. Uh, that is your grid axis. And sometimes, by default, you will not show your ground grid. Eh? You will not show you the ground grid. Eh? And the camera menu, you take note. Camera view, you off this one. I on, off the ground grid. It's not showing. Okay, actually, when you render ground grid in your viewport, it's showing. When you render it, you want to render it. Actually, it will not show ground grid. Okay, ground grid, actually, in case short, they have a ground. Uh, maybe you want to make your product. Uh, laying on the ground eh? the ground you can off it eh? you can go off the ground okay this is a ground uh, of it okay even i go off it still there but you can i can make it uh, off it and environment here environment come and i got ground shadows eh? ground shadow you mean i don't want the ground shadow to be there so you mean like okay this product is kind of like floating in the air eh? it's floating in the air okay, floating in there but in my case i want the ground to be there that's the reason why okay, i want to make it Remember, I will superimpose with photo that have a tabletop. They have a ground plane. So I need a ground plane. So I have to on a bit my ground shadow here. Okay, my ground shadow. And I have just to show you the ground grid. Okay. Actually, my product is not really laying on the ground. Eh? My product is not really laying on the ground. Okay. Boleh buat guys, eh? Let my explanation. Boleh ask, eh? I just uh, part by part explain to you. Okay. If you look at the main thing you want to look your right panel here you have under scene not material sometimes you are in camera sub menu under lighting and image is not image right and make sure you are on scene scene is the first column on your right menu under tab scene so you have all your model sets they will be all your component if you remember you have a library of model model set you have assembly for why is it named assembly for because your Solid work as in before. The way you name in solid work will be tally to the key shot and the name code. In as in before, I have bottom casting. Bottom casting, it is my solid, my button, it is my button. I have my cable connector inside there, cable connector. I have my top casing, it is my top casing. I have my bottom cap. I have my, the way that you label your part name in solid work and, and your assembly. It will there be tally with your key shot. So where is my all of my content under assembly four? It's my full assembly. You click at the pluses. There will be all the children inside it, all the component inside assembly four. If you look, all my the name of my bottom casing is highlight. If I click at bunny ear, it was I like the bunny ear. If I go for top casing, where is the top casing? Top casing, you will highlight the top casing. Okay, you will highlight the top casing. So whatever your name in SolidWorks will be listed in there in your key shot. Will be listed in your key shot. Okay. All right. Uh, another thing. Okay. I need to move. Eh? I need to move since my full assembly is something like it. it uh, inside the below the ground level. Eh? I need to move it. Eh? I want to make sure that it's totally above a little bit. Eh? It, but it's laying on the ground. But it's only like above us. Okay. Eh? So I need to move it. So how do we move? Eh? You mean you don't move individually your corner? Eh? You mean I have to move the whole thing, eh? the whole assembly set. Eh? Let me let me keep this thing. The whole assembly set. Eh? Okay, we select assembly. If I click that the I icon, it will be off. Like this one on. Even you and on off your individual component here. Eh? Okay, but I want to make sure if you want to select everything. The assembly for here, you can name it. Actually, this assembly for eh? you can name it. You can name it, not as employee, because default, so you can name it, I want to make it USB fan, USB fan, because the whole product will be USB fan. Here, eh, under properties, eh, when you click as before, I want to name it USB fan, I want to make this one green color. And I show you, I'll apply green plastic, green plastic, this will be green plastic. I will make three of these, I will duplicate, eh, I will clone it three, one is green, one is pink, one is blue, 
USB fan. Eh? We apply material plastic. Eh? We have green USB fan. So this one, I need to move it first. Eh? I need to move it. I need to move it. Uh, to move it a little bit. Oh, okay, I select the whole green USB fan. Okay, how to move your object? Eh? Make sure you not select individual like this component like this. Eh? This pop casing. You know, make sure that you select everything. You select the whole as the for or the main green USB fan. Just highlight it, you mean the whole thing, your whole set, then you right click mouse. Eh? Right click mouse, you mean your mouse button right. You right click, you will appear menu. I want to move it. Uh, this is how we move our object in T shot. We move it. Then we have kind of like a tripod. Can you see a tripod? You can move it. But this T shot, this is, uh, if I know which this, uh, this is Z assist. Uh, this is X assist. Uh, this is um, Y assist, like this. Eh? This exactly. Okay, but I, I need to move. You can move it. Okay? I need to move above my ground. Above my ground. But it's short. It, it make sure you, uh, you are not touching the tripod just somewhere on your screen. This one, remember. Uh, okay, we have, you can move by plane. Uh, by plane. This plane, SY plane. This XZ plane. This YZ plane. That's why I want to move on SY plane. Somewhere at the center. This moving by plane. Okay, but it's still, okay, it's above my ground, but not touching the ground. Okay, another quick way to do that, we have a dialog box here, under position here, click a position, okay, position is where you can position by coordinate, under advance here, you can snap your object to the ground, that's one way, snap, snap to ground, snap to ground, it will snap to the ground, so your object will be snapped to the ground, so, okay, my object is snapped above the ground, <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, another thing is, uh, okay, if I want to, actually, I have my component here. Actually, my USB port, they have uh, what we call this thing, uh, supporter, eh? a hinge, eh? to make sure if the, uh, to the this is actually, is a support. Eh? The support, I mean, the USB port can stand. Eh? But in, in this position, I just want to be my, my USB uh, fan, eh? Just my USB file can just laying on the ground. But okay, this is all perspective view. What about I want to look at the side view? I want to look at the top view. I want to look at the rear view. Eh? You can look on your camera view like this. Eh? You look at the camera. Camera and under camera, you not under perspective, you can go to standard views. I want to go to the right view. This is directly right view. Okay? Right view looking from the right of your component. If I look at the right of your component, mine is not, not quite logic nah, because actually in real thing, because you need to simulate that like this one is a real thing. Nah. Uh, actually, we have motor inside. It, it would be heavy. Yeah. It can like rotate a little bit, touch the ground. It's not like it's not logic like this. And even my, my base support, nah, my engine is there. Yeah, it's touching the ground. But actually, this one is not can be floating like this, lah. Based on gravity, it should be. We need to simulate that little bit be rotated downward. Okay, this view even is right view. It's a perspective view. Eh? It's kind of like perspective. You can change that view camera to orthographic. Orthographic is not perspective. So, uh, this one better you can see your view in orthographic. So I need to rotate little bit. How do I rotate my green USB phone? I right click. I need to rotate it. Okay, under move also. Move just now. You have move your icon. This one just now move. Eh? Move you. This icon move up and down. This left in yeah? forward and backward. Okay. This is my right view. Eh? Under rotate. This icon your red color. Can you see the red color is rotated? You rotate it a bit. Rotate it a bit. And then I need to move. Okay. But this one the icon here it follows local. Eh? But you want to move vertical. I make sure that I go for global axis. Global axis means straight up. And color local, it go to local. Because this now I rotated my axis to is little bit slanting to the, is rotated at bit at an angle. Eh? But if you go for global, it means for global axis. So it's straight down. Then I can bring it down. Just to make sure that it's kind like more logic. Lah, color if you look from the side view. This one I can drag down a little bit. I rotate it. Let's say put what 90 minus, I mean, rotation in X. You can put this in dialog box. So minus 3 degrees. Uh, it's more logic like that. Then, Make sure that then the icon, I bring it down, you can touch like uh, this my more logic uh, because we have heavy parts here, we have motor and kind of tilted. Okay, if we satisfy this one, we click OK, so there is a position of our 
our ni lah, I can drag down like this. Okay, it's now is it's now right view one. If I just using my left button, I can go for any 3D view. Yeah, but this one is remember I set just now my view to orthography. Make sure you make sure camera set back to your perspective because perspective is more realistic. Do not make sure make sure you are in perspective. Perspective is more realistic 3D view. Okay, let me save dulu my work ni. Let me save. Uh, let me save this one. Uh, uh, my USB pen number. Let me go for. Okay. My USB save this file. <coughs> All right. Okay. After I'm satisfied with this, I just can off my class. Hello, class. Hello, class. Class, are you listening? Yes. Boleh ke, boleh bawa ke kalau saya terang cing, I just ask him to make sure. Boleh eh? Is it okay? Boleh, boleh. Just me talking, talking lagi boleh eh? Okay, uh, actually Angela, thanks for recording. You boleh repeat balik the video. So, I'll do maybe, uh, you repeat, look back at this video, you can get some picture like what I'm talking about. Okay, camera, okay, I just off back my ground. Just, uh, I don't want to see the ground. Okay, that's it. Uh, my orientation is right. So, it's look logically like, it's kind of like laying on the ground. All right. That is your first step, the orientation of your product on the ground. Because why I need to simulate like it on the tabletop. I will drag, drag down the photo of tabletop. All right. The next step will be um, because I need to show. Um, okay. The next step before I duplicate into three, I need to make certain thing. Everything is uh, in case short, if I select like this class. This is, if I select, if I select, make sure it not, sometimes when you are on, your right panel is about your scene, material, material, yeah, uh, not, not material, material library will be on your left, eh? material here, yeah. this is a material library, you want to apply plastic, your left panel, your material, color, texture, environment, this is different thing, the material here is about your component, when you assign material to one of your component, it will listed in the temporary library, uh, that is temporary library, the, material. the scene is all your scene, these things now. Make sure if you want to move thing, you want to hide your component, make sure you are in scene. Kadang-kadang when you are material, you cannot select your component. When you are material, you cannot select. Make sure you want to select your component, you are in scene. Scene. Make sure you are in scene. Your tab, you highlight in scene. Then you select. I can select. Okay. This component. Okay. One thing that you must know, because later on, I need to drag all material. Eh? Because be careful. Eh? Katakan if I assign material. Okay. On your left, well, first panel on the tab here, this color, make sure you're on the left and there will be the material. This is the best thing you should know. Okay, uh, okay, for example, like plastic. If I apply plastic, I want to apply plastic. The problem is that everything will be, remember that everything I drag and drop uh, will be uh, translucent plastic. But that is not kind of material that I want. Another problem that we see, every everything will be assigned. Because I just drag drop at the top, I think not all, every component is assigned the same material. Be careful about that. So I, ju I just undo this thing. Undo replace material. So it go back to default. Okay, make sure eh, this is your second step that you must take note. Eh. You select all your component. Eh. This is my money. Take note what is it. You select it. Under assembly 4, eh, you select all the component. Eh. This this thing you must do first. Until you hold down your shift and you hold down first. You mean all the component you select. Okay. Uncheck. Unselect. Control down all the screw. The screw because all the screw, I have a screw, eh? screw to fastening the top casing and bottom casing. The screw is the same material, but all the other component, I don't want it to be link material. Other reason, eh? this one, I have four screw, another one, this screw, four screw, I uncheck it, eh? hold on my control, uncheck it. So all this one, the component that I highlighted, okay, make sure this one is highlighted, I bring my mouse here, I right click at it, material, other reason, eh? this one, unlink material because by default, Key shot, they link the material. If you drag and drop any material to one component, everything is linked. Uh, you to make sure that you unlink. Make sure if you drag, drop different material, it will not affect the other component. So unlink. Make sure you click at unlink. So it will be unlinked. So for example, if I want to drag transparent at top casing, uh, you will offer accept. Uh, if I want to drag and drop at the bottom casing, uh, uh, top cap is like that. If I want to drag drop at this thing, you want to if want to drop a yellow plastic at top casing. Tapi akala this material you want to use for your USB and I wrote too much again. And my blade uh, individual like that. I want to go for any transparent, you can do like that. Tapi too much like this is not the right material. That's a good about this software. You can do if you apply material. Eh? Uh, 
your material is there, you will render it. Huh? You will render. Okay, key shot ni, they use both of your CPU. Huh? If you are stronger CPU, much better. And you, if you have stronger, it is. Okay, for example, this one, of course, I will not do this. I will undo this thing. Okay, replace material, undo again, maybe by control Z. Huh? Control Z, undo, control Z, control Z. Okay. okay, I have my default material. Okay. That, okay, just now I already mentioned to you, unlink all the material. Eh? Okay, now you can drag and drop to apply material. Eh? And material that I already sent to is nonsense. Eh? Actually, the right material, how, what is the actually material for USB port, guys? Are you listening or not, guys? What material you want to use for USB port plus? The USB port, like USB fan. What <clears throat> material do you need? Are you listening or not? Rubber ke? Ha? Ni casing. Top casing ni material apa ni? Casing. Ha? Uh, plastik lah bukan? Plastik lah. Bukan metal lah eh. eh not metal eh. That's my point. Plastik lah kan. Tapi plastik takkan lah transparent. Jadi ngepek lah. Ngepek lah contoh lah kan. Sometimes you don't have any idea. Okay, this is why you want to simulate. You look on actual product. Eh. Look on my... Can you look my... Can you see my browser class? Browser saya nampak ni. Firefox ni. Class. Yes. You can type je lah. Uh, mini USB fan. Type no? You can look on the... Because you need to visualize kan. Look on the market whatever they have there. Mini USB fan. Click. Look at sample image lah. What type of plastic are using? What type of plastic are using? Uh, mini USB fan. Yang macam ni saya banyak color man. Ni saya right. Mana dia ni? Ini too much. The, the the color is too bright. So man, I just want something like soft green, soft blue, soft pink, something like that. Eh? If look, ah, uh, macam like this. Ini nak apa tak? Pula ini kelas ni, yellow kelas. Kelas. Ni ni yang ni. Open image ni juga. Apa tu kelas ni? Ya. Apa dia buka ni? Banyak-banyak image you boleh nampak. Banyak-banyak eh? uh, sample image you boleh dapat. Uh, okay, I have one image already I show you. Uh, let me share you. Uh, please. Uh, let me share you my image. Uh, ni already I download from internet. Boleh nampak eh, class? This is a real thing from internet. I download this kind of material. Class? Boleh nampak image ni? Uh, this, this kind of image. We have soft. Eh? Uh, this are the way we visualize. Lah. We can see things before we make actual prototype. We say false. Uh, so how it looks like now product, okay, our product. Not too fancy, fancy metal guy, no such thing. So sometimes you have to consult with graphic designer, like people, that point of view. So you, you render, you render, you send to marketing people. Marketing people, they know better. Even designer, the graphic, they, they know better. You, you, graphic designer, they don't know only graphic, but they don't know 3D modeling that you really don't know. You interact with them, telling them about what type of tone of what to discuss lah, with your interaction, with your communication, communication. Um, okay, key shot balik. Okay, jadi uh, image kita tadi yang ni eh. Kita key shot. Key shot saya nampak eh, kan? So, kita nak want to make this one soft pink, soft. Okay, I start by soft green. I start by soft green first. Then I can duplicate to make it soft blue and soft pink. Right? Uh, okay, juga korang belajar software macam ni. Okay, eh? boleh eh? Boleh, sir. Alright, okay, kita apply soft green eh, let's go for soft green, so this is our, on the left is our material library, we have a lot of library, we have architectural, architectural for architectural, we have SL paint, this paint, uh, kadang kalau you fairing character, your product is a bicycle, your frame, you need to be like paint, metallic paint, uh, use this way, this is one material, okay, you can actually not, macam this one blue, you can edit the color, I show you, macam we have clothes, fabric, contour, cutaway, uh, this one, section view, gemstone, glass material, lights, black material for illuminate, measure, metal, uh, if you, before this, I show student key shot doing skateboard, skateboard, dia punya bottom, the axle, the axle, the red truck, dia punya hanger, it's all metal component, uh, we will do a lot of metal, but this one is, you as we can see, most of them is plastic, So we go for plastic, eh? so go for plastic, eh? this is plastic, eh? plastic is now we have a lot of, yeah, this is plastic, we have a lot of library of plastic, but do not fancy lah, we want to simulate them, this, this is a kind like shiny plastic, let's go for shiny plastic, 
Okay, so we go not clear plastic. This is not clear plastic. We scroll down until we get to this one is hard surface. Hard surface, rough plastic green. Hard rough plastic green. Eh? Uh, I just want, I make it shiny first. The hard, shiny green plastic. Can you see this one? Plus hard green, shiny plastic. Okay, I drag that one to my top casing. To my top casing. Okay, now my sir, this one, this green is too bright, eh? not as what we see in this picture. Yes, no problem. We can edit it. You can edit this one. Eh? You can edit it. Okay, by the way, guys, eh, we have some bar eh? animation. Eh? Let me close down. This is for your animation. This is rotating, guys. Eh? Whatever yang I have a motto tadi, they were rotated. You can render animation rotated or you can render still image. This one is motion blur because the, the blade is... Never mind, I just scroll down. Whatever your animation is all over, will be here. Eh? Okay, this is a bar for animation. All right. Because I need to off this view for a while just to show you focus on me. Eh? If I want to end the animation bar, just press P. Uh, off my A is uh, turning off the animation on it back. So it's supposed to be there. The animation panel is not to be there. Okay. See. Right, never mind. Okay, this one is uh okay. Sekarang ni, my green plastic is not the right plastic that I want here. Okay, kita boleh edit eh. Kita boleh edit this one eh. We can edit. Okay, you just, okay, make sure you're in scene mode. You select this one. Select, you're in the top casing. I already, I just, I take one example top casing saja. When I wear top casing, okay, in your scene here, the, for the top casing, I, okay, I select this top casing guy. Uh, actually, guys, when I select any component, I just want to show another thing. Eh? If you right-click, we have menu. Any component that you select, I select my component. If I right-click, there is a pop-up menu. You can edit material, eh? but uh, I, I cannot explain you everything here. Only the basic thing. Eh? One thing is you can move. Just now, you can move part. Eh? You can move. Just now, I can move. Just now, I move the whole USB pen. You can move individual part. But they move part, you can move it. Eh? You can move like that your part, but I don't want to move it. I undo again. Okay, undo move. All right. What I'm I try to explain to you uh, is about that I did. You can go for solo mode. Solo mode, you mean you like in solid work, isolate mode. Eh? You temporarily off all your other components. You want to focus on one component. That is solo mode. If you right click again, exit solo mode, you go back, everything's there. You can select again your component, even solo mode, even you can do hide part. I part is not uh, isolate. It's not isolate. That is, uh, that is uh, kind of like something similar. Show only also like solo mode. Show only means so, show only. Show only means like that. And, and me undo show all part will be there. When you select your component, solo mode, you go for isolate. Eh? I show only also the same thing. Eh? Okay, like I want to go for solo mode for this one. I want to change this material. I can say edit material. I select this one. I edit this material. Okay, we edit this material. Okay, on your right menu too, the material tab is there. Okay, you can rename your material. Yeah? Nampak, there is a name of your material. I can name it soft green. Eh? Soft green. I want, to, I want to edit the color. The color is too bright. Eh? Uh, soft green. Plus, uh, you can name it. Soft green. Uh, top, top green. You name it. Because better to name your material. So easy for you to, in the library, yeah, you can apply soft green. Plastic casing. Eh? Soft green plus top. I cannot, uh, how do I mean? Soft green. Uh, USB casing. Okay. For example, eh? soft green USB casing. USB fan casing. Okay. USB fan casing. USB fan. You can name it. Eh? Just name it proper so better to you to yeah, remember. Okay. But under the map, eh? diffuse. Eh? Okay, this is the thing you should know. Because the diffuse is too much, okay, the diffuse is too much. Because if you look on this image, it's kind of like green plus blue, eh? green plus blue. So, and the diffuse, because no, do not touch the specular. Specular is something that I like. Shiny is specular. Do not touch and remain it white. But the diffuse is the main color of your product. Click at diffuse. Change the kind of like the green, like plus little bit bluish, eh? little bit bluish. Something like similar like this one, eh? similar like this. Color you touch, sure, change it. Okay, you can drag something like simulate top view macam tu. Yeah, does it look the same? Tapi ini because of the lighting pun kita tak nampak sangat. Eh? Okay, something like you can get the soft green macam tu. Okay, let's say for example you agree on this. Eh? Look like this, or the soft green that you want. 
Okay, so green that one. Uh, yang ni the kind like more bluish. Lah. Okay, I want this one. This kind of so green, not too bright. Okay. When if I agree on this color, okay, we have a hex number, so it means you don't have to every time edit material, you have to adjust the red, green, blue, lah. green, red, green, and blue. Just hex hexagon is a code number for this color. Eh. Hexagon number, you just copy it. I just highlight it and I copy it. That will be my color of my green plastic. Eh, that will be okay. This soft green, green plastic. Okay, now I assign this thing. Okay, another thing, eh, okay, this is material, lah, material of this component. Eh. The soft green USB fan casing. Okay, under the scene, I select this component. Okay, um, another thing that you should do, eh, take note about this. Eh. Okay, make sure you are under scene. Eh. If you look at this, you put your component, eh, if you look, they all have sharp edges. Remember that, eh, because I made this model in solid work. They eh. want sharp edges. Eh. This is sharp edges. Eh. Actually, to make your rendering uh, really uh, interesting, eh, to move, look more realistic, any sharp edges like this one, it's, it's sharp. You make it tempering a little bit, kind of like the edges is not sharp, eh? kind of like they have curve. So in SolidWorks, of course, you can do fillet, right? You can fillet this thing. Tapi fillet, you do all fillet too much until you consume memory and the number of bytes of your file. Eh? So you can you can fillet the trick for key shot, uh, like this one. You select you know, material component. Make sure it's scene mode. Make sure it's scene mode. Make sure not in position. Eh? And when you are seen, you select my top casing here, make sure that this one is under properties. Under properties here, you drag down, there is some way to trick, do the trick. Eh? The radius, eh? the radius of any inner part. We have the radius here. Eh? Make it young about the radius. You are not too much, guys. Eh? 0.25. Nampak that they rounded all the sharp corner. Guys, are you listening or not? Class. Yes, sir. Uh, bau dia looks more interesting, nampak more realistic. And because not uh, all the component, they are sharp edges. Eh? They kind of are rounded, it's much better lah. Uh, that's how I uh, see things. Eh? They're much better to be like that. Uh, okay. Then, I want to show every component. Eh? Every component undo high part. Eh? So, they will show all the component. Eh, uh, exit solo mode, sorry. Eh? Exit solo mode. So, they will do. Okay, now I have this component. Eh? I have this top casing. Now, all the component here, the cap, top cap, bottom cap, top, somewhere, all the same material. I don't have to do this again and again. I just and can copy and paste material. So, how do we do that? Because I already named this one top casing, right? Eh? This one is the material name is soft green casing. Eh? Okay, if I select, to okay, make sure you are seen mode, I select the top casing that I already applied the green material. I right click at it. I can, but there will be pop up menu. Pop up menu, you say copy material. Eh? Copy material. Copy material means you already copy that. I select this top case, top cap, paste material. I select the button also, I want to be the same material. Paste material. I want the, this one also, paste material. And also the bottom casing, paste material. And also the support, oh, eh? the hinge support, and also paste material. And also, okay, now I have my fan blade. My blade, eh? fan blade, eh? fan blade inside. So how do I or try to open inside? So you can do this by hiding your component. Eh? I select, make sure you are seen. Sometimes you are in material, you cannot select component. Eh? I have got to remind you, seen, select this one, top casing, you right click, you can hide part. Hide means you hide. Hide part, your part is there. So now I can paste this material. Okay, then I can select this blade. Paste material because I already copied the two end. Uh, this one will be plastic. You got lah, the same because memang eh, class in manufacturing, eh, they don't eh, they, as a manufacturing, they want to save cost of using material, guys. Eh, so everything will be the same. You don't, do not use fancy fancy this material, this different material. No. In the manufacturing, they will use the same material to save cost. Eh. If you use this one, this one also they use the same material. All right, okay. And uh, also we have kind, okay. All this component, okay. I also have this casing for Actually, eh, this one, eh, this one, if I slide, I hide this, this, this blade, fan blade, I have another casing, eh, casing to cover the cable from battery, cable wire to charge the motor. Eh. This is a cable. Eh. This one also paste material, the same plastic material, soft green. Okay, this one also, I want you need to make all your component, if possible, you select all component, make you your radius to curvature a little bit, 0.25, I mentioned. Even this one, bottom casing, I have not assigned, make sure your radius also 0.25 to 3. To like it kind of like all you don't have sharp edges eh? you don't have sharp more it looks more better more uh, realistic in terms of your even my top cap also make sure you under properties yeah 
0.25 dia punya not too much guys kalau you buat too much uh, no not good eh too much eh not good okay also the bottom cap bottom cap make it the curvature radius 0.25 little bit and also the bottom casing I'm not apply eh? bottom casing okay this is my bottom casing also sharp corner nampak eh still sharp corner bottom casing apa eh okay bottom casing already apply kalau guys kalau you put radius ni katakan I put one eh too much tak boleh guys dia jadi too much too much blend tak not good lah you can't like a soft material you can't like clay eh clay you can't like clay not good eh it's not logic based on just 0.25 is good enough okay just kind like the curvature it's much better okay now I have okay I I already assigned my my material here okay now it's about the moto moto pula eh okay now I undo okay let me before just select Alright, the motor here. Okay, motor is what material? Glass. Metal, right? Eh? Glass. Metal, metal. Eh? Yes. Motor is not plastic. Motor is metal. This is motor, okay? Standard motor that I model with solution. Standard size motor. Uh, metal, metal. Okay, click and metal. This will be metal debris. Uh, janganlah mengarut macam ni. Gepek lah. There's no such thing material ni. Uh, metal motor is a uh, you got it. We have no dice, chrome, some other gold. Everything is there. That kind of gold, eh? Maybe right. This one you want to put what gem? You want to put what? Upon the jewelry? Yes. You want to model? Up? Yes. Good. Eh? Rantai cincin is good for gold. But this one, this product, the motor is just uh, rough metal. Eh? Metal. Okay. Metal. Not brush. Brush. They kind of brush effect. You just like metal. Okay. Not metal. Not black. Eh? Gray metal. Other this one, metal, rough, black. Now, this will badat motor, motor punya body. But the shaft is metal, polish white. The shaft, my motor is like that. Because the shaft is totally reflection, uh, totally polished, and the need is a rough, black. Motor is like that. So, that will be your motor. And, uh... Okay, what else inside? There's one more component. This one. Okay, I want to hide the top cap. Select. Make sure you're seen. Select top cap. I hide this part. Top cap is hidden. And uh, this one. <coughs> I hide the button also. Okay, the button also I get to me every before, before I forget. Button also make sure the punya ni 0.25 the punya radius. To, to make it much better, the more like other rounded edges yeah, rather than sharp edges. Okay, what about I have a PC board, PCB board here. Yeah. PCB board, I need to apply material. I also PC board together with the USB port. And this one we have metal button here. Yeah. Okay, okay. USB port also I apply metal, uh, metal polish, metal gray, a uh, motor polish gray for this. USB port on your head. Huh? USB port is metal. But the PCB board. Okay, this is PCB board. Okay, PCB board. I will apply a texture material. Eh? Texture material. You can sometimes you need to simulate like this uh, PCB. PCB they kind like the what we call it. Um, any texture image showing a PCB. If you look on, you can get it from the internet. Banyak ada. Eh? You check up PCB board. Uh, PCB texture image. Google image can find it. Banyak. Okay. PCB texture image. Uh, macam ni lah. You just uh, snapshot the photo kan. You my free texture. You boleh ambil a lot of uh, PCB board. This is not PCB board. Yeah, lah. You can yang ada same uh, PCB board yang ada semiconductors yeah. uh, you can get yang direct you punya texture image. Okay. You can download it. Okay. To make a shortcut I already have that image. My image is I already have the image. Uh, I cannot recall where do I put the image. Um, is in the okay. Other than okay, all right. In case short, how do I apply the texture image? Okay, I select the PCB board. Okay, eh? take note. Eh? I select. Nampak it's highlighted the PCB board. Make sure you're in scene mode. Then you can select. Okay, I want to edit the material. Eh? Okay, I I'm not dragging any material to my PCB board. I just simply select the PCB board. I edit the material. Can okay? I, I right click edit material? Nampak? Edit material graph. Or, or you edit. Macam mana dia tak keluar ni? PCB board, edit ni. Edit material. Nampak kelas ni? Eh? Edit material. Eh? Edit material. The first menu tu. Okay. Under the right panel ni. Okay. I'm playing with the texture. Eh? Texture. Eh? I zoom in. This is my PCB board. Eh? The 
the right menu under material eh, i'm playing with the texture because i'm using texture as my material eh, texture texture eh, under color eh, not bump color ni you just simply click at the color just click here then it will open the okay i already have this thing right this one eh, can you see my uh, this one i downloaded from the internet eh, you could eh, am i sharing you this pcb board you, am i sharing you the image nampak tak image ni pcb board class nampak eh all right okay Okay, that's the image I select here. I select the image. Uh, circle board ni. I select the texture that I'll download for internet. So, it will be applied. Nampak tak ada texture kat sini? Class. Nampak PCB board tu ada texture. Nampak ni. Ha, itulah ada kan. Benda ni. Benda ni itulah. Grafik. Kalau you minat grafik, so nak pakai benda ni. Eh. Uh, texture is to simulate. Uh, Okay, this, okay, this, uh, you, kita boleh scale down, eh. Scale down, eh, the texture, nampak? You still, you still, okay. Guys, pasal, I don't have time, lah. Ini bukan, I don't want to teach you everything. And basically, by seeing my video, ni, you have idea, lah. Ni, just a little bit, I want to show you. Texture, ni, the scaler is too big, right? I want to make a little bit scale down. Uh, make it uh, smaller, uh, smaller scale down. Too big punya size you can scale down you drag down here eh? okay you drag down a little bit this is all about your texture property the menu bottom eh? your setting of your texture scale more than about your width of your texture 60 by millimeter. sometimes by default is dpi and eh? you change to scene you need now but this is a width and height of your texture image if i little bit scroll down, this one is long eh? width and height they uh the the ratio to the lock together Make sure it's long, eh? Uh, you know, if I little bit, I, I make a little bit the, uh, uh, the other uh, scale down a little bit, lah. Uh, scale down a little bit. As long as it looks like PCB board, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, lebih kurang macam tu lah. PCB lah, it shows your PCB board. Okay, then you can move the texture. You bring that. Okay, this uh, icon move textures, move textures. Nampak? Your texture ni can reset at the original position, eh? Okay, this kind, your texture, what is it, that texture? You can, if, if not at the center, you can simply uh, reset center, this one on model, because model kita, USB fan, or center is there, you see, click at part. Part, you mean, you reset, you punya texture to your PCB board. Part, make sure it's part, you reset, it brings that to your, this is a coordinate, not of your object, the coordinate of your texture, texture mapping, eh? So you you can you can move. My point is you can move your texture. You want okay. You want to be this orientation. It's up to you. Eh? As long as it looks like a PCB board, it's good, lah. Now rather than you just have plain color, and eh? that's not PCB board. Uh, this one will show something like PCB board. Maybe I want to reduce on it to be uh, okay, lah. Good enough for me. Just click okay. PCB board. Okay, right? Oh, eh? that is my PCB board. Eh? You can play around with it. Okay. Another thing that I miss, we have a button. Actually, PCB board. Eh? They have the standard PC board I model, guys. They come up with the button, button mounted on this PCB board. Okay, this button is as well. Okay, let me hide dulu. Make sure I'm in my scene mode. I hide my button. Top button, okay. I mean the PCB board button. PCB board button ni also, okay. Nampak tak this one? All sharp corner, nampak, guys? Everything is sharp corner. Make sure you select you punya button. You make sure under properties. You bring down 0.25, okay? So it become like, ah, uh, nampak tak? They become curve. Just now sharp, kan? Ah, uh, this look more better. Then I want to apply button is metal, lah, eh? Metal, white, metal gray. Polish gray for the button. Okay, the button ni, kalau if I apply ni, polish gray for the button, everything is, right? Everything is polish gray. This kind like, ah, uh, problem juga ni. Okay, I want to show you another thing, guys, eh? Okay, take note, guys. Are you there, guys? Take note. Kita interact with solid work. Okay, class, tengok sini. Class, okay. This button, okay. If I click at solid work, okay. Where is my button? Okay, I hide. This is my solid work. This one, you know lah. I, I hide this one. Oh, can open so no one. I'm not opening this one. I'm hiding. I try to hide this one. Okay. Uh, this one I hide. Eh? Hide this one. Okay. I hide also this one. This is solid work, right? Eh? Okay. This one I apply. Uh, this one different material. Eh? I want the button to be okay. I just simply select the button. Nampak tak? In solid work, you can apply different material. Okay, the face. Eh? The face, I want it to be different. Okay, this face. And I have got my control. And this face, I need the face to be. I put uh, just a different material. Blue color. Because why? Okay. 
for me, it means that in T-Shot, that then whatever changes that I make here, tengok kelas, this is my solid work. Eh? Okay, not the first button, guys. Do not click. First button will open again your link. No, whatever changes, that's why this is good about dynamic link, eh? live link with your solid work and T-Shot. The second button, eh? whatever changes you make to your solid work will be updated to the T-Shot. Understand, guys? Yeah, the second button, update to T-Shot. Right? <coughs> Are you there? Uh, click, click update to key shot so it will update oh man um sorry guys um my mistake okay uh no they will update sorry guys uh, other other reason okay it's okay no mind green this one uh oh, oh. i delete it eh? yeah no mind it's okay this one i delete it just delete, 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 uh, delete. Okay, this one, uh, they have duplicate. Uh, the assembly form, uh, I delete it. Okay, all right, uh, we go to this. We, I want to sign the button. Eh? The button, uh, this button, eh? okay, actually, it's PCB button. Eh? Uh, let's just check for unlimited material. Let me drag this one. You can sign to the same. Okay, never mind. Actually, if you have different uh if you have different surface color you can apply different material because i think this one i make it solid one thing no wonder why it's okay never mind i just want to make a, just a metal button no problem uh this one is just a rough gray metal eh? or polish gray not polish uh, rough gray metal what is it metal polish gray metal metal gray eh? metal gray rough for the button Not brush, uh, I mean the gray metal. Hold on, gray metal. Make sure you use the right metal. Metal, or the brush black, the metal gray, metal gray, metal rough gray. Yeah, okay. This this represents this is good enough. Okay, let, let me save the room. Okay, this represents the button of my uh, this is a button guy. Button actually, button is not cannot be seen after you uh, cannot use inside button from your remember. Uh, we have. We have the apa tu, we have the button kan. This is button of PC board. If I on the button, the plastic button, uh, this one. This plastic button, when you press it, you will press the button. That's why I do the modeling so it works exactly as this is the product. Eh? Really detailed. Eh? You will press this button and it will, it will on the pen. This is a battery. I don't, battery, you don't have to model a battery. It's a standard part. AA battery. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. I already let me say file. Okay. The only thing, the only that I have not assigned material is the screw and the ear. Eh? Bunny ear. Okay. The screw is just use a uh, metal. You can use metal. Uh, it's a screw. Eh? Four screw. We use metal rough gray also can or the metal polish white, metal polish gray. Sometimes you have to look through what which appropriate metal uh, material that you want to assign for for screw. It's just a uh, metal. Polish gray, polish metal polish gray for the for the screw. This is a screw, eh? screw inside there. Eh? You just apply for the screw because the screw, though, because they, everything is why when I supply assign to one screw, everything is there because only screw that I not selected to be just now unlink material, right? So you will because screw is all under same group, so it, it will assign the same material. Okay, let me save it. Okay, the only material that I have not signed is the. Bunny ear, okay. Bunny ear, guys. Okay, bunny ear actually. Okay, if I select scene, bunny ear. So, nampak tak sharp corner, eh? Sharp, really sharp. It actually rubber. It's a rubber grid. If this is metal, this is hard. All the casing, the component is a hard surface plastic. Actually, the bunny ear. Kalau buy, I model this thing. I actually buy. I bought it. Eh? Just be fan from any store. I bought it. This thing. Now I remodel it. Eh? I remodel it. Eh? So this bunny ear is actually is a soft material. Soft material. It's not a hard. It's kind of like soft rubber material. Eh? Soft rubber material. Okay, bunny ear ni. Satu lagi, one thing I want to show. It's uh, all sharp edges, right? You can also make sure you strike me eh? under scene, under, you go down under properties here, make sure the part, I want to make it bigger, 0.5. Eh? Ah, nampak, baru nampak macam like soft material. Nampak the rounded edges, soft material. Okay, now the material is for this, is rubber. So we have rubber here, guys. You type in, under material library, you cannot find it. You type rubber, R-U-B-B-E-R. -E you have rubber. Okay, in the library, rubber here. Rubber here, they have black. Okay, no problem. We just drag rubber to here. Black rubber. Okay, it's a black. 
Okay, black rubber. Okay, you can edit the material. Eh? Make sure you see, you select this bunny here, edit material, then under diffuse. Remember diffuse just now, kita have hex number, I have already copied, right? You just paste the green, the yeah, green, so that will become your name. Okay, that become soft rubber. Okay, plus yang ini kan, this is rubber material, ini specular. Specular ni actually, I can make it, actually specular is brighter than the diffuse. Specular ni you have to make it a bit here. Little bit brighter. That is specular. Okay. Not. Okay. That is uh, rubber material. Okay. Now I unhide. So you want to unhide. Show everything. But it show all parts. Yeah? Right click. at any screen. Show all parts. So you have all your components there. Plus. Uh, dah lima sebelas. Boleh buat lagi ke? Kelas. Is it okay? I continue. Okay, sir. Boleh ke? Is it okay? Alright, kalau maybe lima setengah kita habis je, okay? Yeah. Kalau tak pun kita sambung esok lah. Tomorrow we have class kan, eh? Tomorrow kita tengok. Okay, just show uh, sampai mana saya boleh buat show here. Okay, now we have this thing. Alright, uh, okay. <coughs> okay, let me save. Let me save this thing. Okay, now we have the top casing. Actually, that is uh, what we call it uh, in look my image, ada logo, eh? Ada logo, eh? If you look my image, there will be logo. Ada logo tu, eh? If you look, saya ada logo sini, bandi punya image. Ah, so, better lah. Sometimes you want to simu uh, simulate your product, eh? to put uh, a graphic, eh? because not just look plain like this, kan? Eh? Up the plain macam ni, eh? Where you have, you want to to present your punya product. Okay, how do we put label dekat sini? This what we call label. This what we call here is label. Uh, label. Okay, in meta, okay, we select this one. The top casing, make sure you are in scene mode, you select top casing, only the top casing that I want to add label. Eh? So I select the top casing, top casing, I edit the material, under edit material here, under here, with this now property, texture, you want to put, don't, don't touch texture lah, property just now, the color, the, the, the label, but the, the right here, the net name, the number three here, labels, you can add any label, the label, so you have to add in the label, you add label, you add texture, okay, you, this one already, Browse down to my folder, eh? Dia dah read my memory. So, I want, I already this thing, eh? So, mana saya ada ni, benda-benda macam ni, you boleh, you pakai software apa buat benda ni? Crap. What software do you use ni? Photoshop, Illustrator, tau pakai tak? Tahu kan? Eh? Hello, class. Yes, class, are you listening? Benda ni tak payah saya ajar lah buat ni, draw ni. You can use paint software like Photoshop. Illustrator is the best lah, vector. You can get freeware, not similar like Illustrator. Uh, do kind like anything to make your product more stand out lah, more interesting. Eh? Because my product ni, uh, actually I buy this product, the product name is not any by you. The product ni tu something from China. I make, uh, okay, I make a bunny here, I make a rabbit image, then I get an idea, I name it. Ani Bayu. Animal Bayu is mean for wind, eh? wind blower. So maybe uh, this guy, eh? it gives you some idea, you can build your own design, your product. Eh? Ani Bayu. Something interesting, even the product, yeah, of course. So USB fan is already in Bayu. Yeah, we have, we, it's designed very simple. Standard people will buy it. Ani Bayu. Animal Bayu is mean wind. Eh? In Blasa Melayu, I like, make it Bayu. Okay. Maybe you can model your different. This is a rabbit. Maybe you have elephant here and you have a trunk of the elephant in TV. You model in your solid work. You give me ideas, then you promote, you sell your works to them. You sell it, you show your work rendering. People will invest, eh? people will ask you to join. I will invest. There's one thing eh, about 3D rendering. Eh? You can visualize your design. You understand what I'm talking about, class? Maybe you have rabbit, maybe you make elephant ear, you point out instead of elephant ear, you have a trunk. Then your name of your product is any by you. Animal by you. By you means with. That's one example of it. Okay. We go back to this one, key shot, eh? key shot, okay. I put an image, texture just now, logo, okay. I want to put the, this image, eh? rabbit eyes. Nampak guys, eh? rabbit eyes ni, dalam my folder boleh nampak eh. Rabbit eyes plus this, other this, class. Okay, rabbit eyes plus this, okay. Yeah, I add the label. Okay, now is the texture of my label at this, eh. <clears throat> okay, if you look, and eh? on the your right menu, ni, the rabbit here, the rabbit eyes ni. Uh, okay, the, the, the rabbit texture logo I want to put on the top, uh, the top casing. Eh? Okay, if you look under labels, if you scroll down, eh, carefully you scroll down, you punya ni. Okay, this one, 
you can I can close on that. This one I can scroll. I can compress so I can uh, make it shorter. Eh? Okay, you scroll around under your label here. Yeah? Okay, you can okay you move your texture. Eh? Move texture. You can to part. Eh? Part ni make sure you reset the center to part. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and this one is the scale of your scale of your texture. Eh? Make sure you're on scene, not DPI. DPI is another dot per inch. Okay. You scale your texture. If you look at your texture, okay, your texture is like that. And you also can move, eh? Pasal kita ada button ni kan? Because why is button move is not here? The axis move near tripod, no? Because the translate is off. Which was, by default, it's on, guys. Because I already off it previously. You can move your texture like this. You can move texture like that. Okay, sometimes, okay. When you look at this perspective view, it's sometimes it's quite for difficult for you to adjust your texture. It's a good way in your camera, you go for your view, top view, eh? You go for top view. Okay, for top view and also you off your make sure you autographic better you view okay your texture here is uh, rotated 90 degree so you go this menu on your right eh? there is an angle there angle to you go for negative 90 eh? negative 90 supposed to be like that okay 90 is the other side eh? negative 90 i put the next 90 like that i reduce it a bit my texture a little bit smaller and i can move like this to adjust eh? Uh, like this, and I have my texture as it went, so maybe I can increase it a bit. Okay, I have my name. All right, so there I have my texture. Then eh? I have my texture. Okay, one another thing is that, um, uh the nose actually guys the nose actually is the red color eh? tapi i have probably supposed not to be this problem eh? uh because in in solid work because if i unhide everything at eh, the top casing me i on in solid work everything is i on it if okay, i on it um Okay, this is solid work, and this, this is solid work. Eh? But okay, if this one, I change the material to the face, eh? I change to something red color. It's supposed to be, if I update it, uh, it's supposed to be updated in your in your key shot. Eh? But one thing, I, I don't know what is happened. They are duplicate that clone. Supposed to be, it's okay. Eh? Uh, I don't know why. Uh, it means that. All right, this one, okay. So different materials. So this one, I the nose, the nose. Ni, I can apply different. Hopefully, they work. Eh? Uh, plastic. I want to apply uh, plastic, red plastic, uh, shiny plastic to the. Suppose they play, they play in, in solid work. I apply this one. I update it. Update, update to key shot, and you can apply that uh, different color of the nose at, at the knee. I want the nose to be red color. Hold on. Okay, let me see. Do there is other duplication? Hold on, guys. Okay. We must be uh, off this one. You know, let's see. And if I apply red plastic to, okay, make sure that young lady also near this one, this top casing, I make a uh, uh, unlink material and apply only to the nose. Supposed to be supposed to be right. Uh, ni, eh, dia punya, okay, top casing we have supposed to be the bullet apply for the nose. So, pasal dia akan look on the different material color of you. Tapi it's okay, guys. Supposed to be okay. I don't know how uh, it Tapi it's okay. Boleh, eh, kalau sepatutnya earlier I dah already put it there. Eh, bila I export and the beginning, dia akan apply this one different material. Tapi so, it's okay. This one is quite okay. All right. Um, okay, the, the, this one, eh, the bottom cap, eh? okay, the bottom cap, eh? uh, the top, top cap, eh? top cap, top cap, I want to apply a uh, uh, logo here, uh, logo Ani Bayu here, eh? so I select the top cap, okay, edit material, okay, edit material, okay, this is my top cap, and I put the label, and the label here, I add uh, label texture, so I have uh, already logo ni, in PNG, guys, eh? make sure PNG, so I put it there. So okay, my texture is there, but it's but it's put at the top. Eh? You make sure that under your texture, ni, uh, 
move texture, you make sure you are on part, eh? the center on your part, you move texture. Okay, and if you look, my texture orientation is also not proper. So I go to camera, standard view from the top view. Okay, from the top view. Uh, so I need to rotate it. Eh? Rotate. I need to rotate it. Uh, this one is 90 degree. Make sure angle is negative 90. It goes to right orientation and adjust the scale. Uh, make sure scene unit. Eh? Better you adjust like this. About proper size. Okay, you can move up and down or left and right. Okay, I think this one's about center. This little bit this size is about good enough. And make it a little bit bigger, about let's say 33. Okay, that's good enough. So I have a logo of my product. So this will be my image. Let me save the look. Alright, so this would be my uh component. Okay, Lima Duo plus two. Okay, class uh 521. <laughs> Alright, just a little bit. And class, are you there? Hello, class. I Yes. Right. <clears throat> okay, let me save the room. Okay, guys, why uh, is it taking too long? Kita stop lagi lima minit, then kita continue tomorrow. Eh? Just last so before kita quit, I want to duplicate it into blue, blue color and also pink color. Okay, you don't have to do it again, just tomorrow you adjust the the Alright, so how do we duplicate? Okay, how do we duplicate? Okay, this is my green USB fan. I highlight it. Right click, duplicate. Eh? You duplicate. Alright, there are lagi. They become duplication of it. Eh? Nampak, they duplicate. Okay, you move. Eh? Move little bit. Nampak tak? Make sure you move. Nampak, this is plain XY plane. Eh? Jangan move. Sometimes you, bila you move at certain place, you accidentally it will tilt. Eh? Make sure XY plane remain because remember, we already tilted again. That it kind of lying on the ground. Make sure as my plane, as my plane, that, that I move a little bit. Uh, this is my yang ni. And also the green icon to you rotate macam ni. Green icon to I want to be more look like realistic, realistic sikit lah. Not sedih macam ni kind like more interesting lah. You don't want to shift it. You wish macam ni saya buat ni. This one is shifted macam tu. Uh, Alright, macam ni. Okay. If you look yang ni, they still remain macam tu lah. They tilted a little bit kan. They laying on the ground. Okay, this will be my blue color. Okay. And make it a little bit more like realistic scale like this. Huh? For example, eh? We just to check. Okay. That's one. And another one. Uh, this one, you rename it as, rename it. How do we rename it? Ni, you rename properties. You name it as, ni, under here, uh, bl uh, blue, blue, blue USB pen. Blue USB fan, and you select that again. Green USB fan, duplicate it. Okay, you duplicate it. Okay, uh, move macam ni. Make sure as well plane tu. Um, like this. Okay. Uh, make sure yang ni, icon yang green ni, dia rotated on your as well plane. Eh. Make sure you add as well plane so you tak tilted the so how do you model your opinion works lah? Yang ini even pun I can uh, rotate. Itu bila di sana tu mungkin lagi more. Okay, this example lah guys. So so yang ni lah. Okay, because I have not dragged out the black uh, the back uh, black apa ni back plate back plate image eh, the photo. Today I just sempat tunjuk you lah because the only to model this thing to put the material. Okay, now uh, just I want to change this color eh, before. Yeah, yeah, this one changed to blue. Eh? Okay, for the blue USB port, eh? yeah, yeah, blue USB port. Okay, let me save dulu. Let me save. Okay, yeah, this one, I select the blue USB port. I edit the material. The top casing, I begin with only the material of the green. I want to change to blue. Blue material. Blue color. Just, just soft blue, guys. Bukan the very dark blue macam ni. No, just something like you kind like macam ni product. That's why you can simulate your product. You can look your product how it looks like before you okay uh, this kind of uh, okay it's nice. Okay copy the hexagon number. Just copy the hexagon number. Be okay. And all this thing then under scene material you select this thing. Uh, edit material. I'm not copy and paste guy. I edit the diffuse color eh. Diffuse color yang you do. 
Dia ni pun dia menghasilkan kadar I change it to This one Okay Pasal this one If I copy this material I paste it to the button The button have logo any by you know eh Pasal this get button Okay yang ini pun uh, This one Okay this one The plastic material I edit Okay This one I copy the hexagon number The fuse color I change the what the My hex number eh Of the my color So this one Okay now this one I can copy and paste Because all The bottom cap and ni that's no logo in eh? no no image. So this one, okay, I can copy this material. I select the bottom one, paste this one. I can paste because they don't have any texture because they yang ini also paste material, paste material, and also this one paste material, and also the pen blade. Carefully okay, select the pen blade. Kalau you tak boleh select the fan blade, you hide part pun lah. Yeah. Okay, fan blade, paste material. Eh? Uh, yang all the PCB semua all the same lah. Motor is the same, you don't need. Lah. Okay, and also the ear bunny. Ear bunny, I select the ear bunny, edit material, only change the hexagon number. Excellent. The next one is for blue. Okay, this one is still rubber. I'm not changing. Just the diffuse color that I change. Okay, it's blue plastic. Now for magenta yang ni, yang ni for pink, pink this one I edit. Uh, if you okay, we go for red, uh, red more toward red. Kind of soft red. Hmm. Okay, boleh lah. Eh. Ini copy the hexagon number. Alright, and select this one. Okay, make sure it's in mode. Yang ini also don't uh, select this one. Edit material. Paste the color tu. Okay. Select this one also. Button. And the, the Webex blocking my okay. edit material is the X color though. okay once we get any you will copy and paste Pasal this one the uh, this one they don't have texture they don't have any logo eh? you don't have any logo so ini, sorry yang ini you just copy material ini copy material and for the pen blade Paste material for the paste material. The support also paste material and also the make sure your scene. Can I just like the scene paste material? Let me save the look. Right and okay, the bunny here, yeah, yeah. Edit material, oh, edit material. Yang ini copy the paste the hexagon number. So ini soft material. You tak boleh paste. Pasal kalau you copy and paste, so this will become hard plastic. This one is soft. If you use rubber, eh? all right. Okay, then you have you punya component ini. The one that I forgot guys yang ini. Ah, eh? uh, yang ini pun satu lagi. Let let me. Uh, copy this material. Why? Ada satu komponen that I forgot. I copy this material macam mana ni. Ada uh, kacau block. Webex punya screen ni dia kacau main ni. Copy material. Okay, ada reason. Uh, something that I forgot. This one high part. Plus, are you there class? Boleh bawa lagi ke sikit je lagi. Class. Uh, ni yang ni apa? Ni kan ni green kan? Green. I forgot yang ni. Yang kabel punya connector tu. This material. This blue. Okay, this one, okay, and then uh, show all part, and also select this one, select button, copy material, hide part, and the cap, oh, ini dah memang green, no problem, ini memang green, part, ini, this one, 
copy material hide part nah ini green kan itu also paste material ok bau bau ok lah semua complete lah kita punya material is complete tetapi uh, too bad lah uh, pasal saya tadi yang first part of my lecture taking I think about 2 hours ya yeah. show all show all so maybe kita continue tomorrow lah I think Buru dan I'll show you dengan animation ni possible logic okay kelas boleh buat eh tu dia I tak boleh I wish I could show you everything ini kalau kelas kau boleh kan boleh boleh buat eh okay bolehlah tak apa benda ni kalau minat grafik memang you only lah good lah kalau you minat grafik go for this lah good animation tak um It's okay, sometimes dia punya appearing or dia punya interface dia kadang. Animation dia is moving dah. Eh. Jadi ni is rotated semua but the, the plan is rotated because it have animation. Tapi sir, why is it not moving? Kalau nampak ini scroll bar animation ni keyframe. Uh, pen is rotated. Why is it sir, still look static? Because nampak kan eh. Yang ni, motion blur. Eh. Motion blur you on it. Eh. Motion blur you mean kalau dia rotated motion because all the blade is in motion. Eh. In, you render motion blur it will show. Make sure ini motion blur you on it. Eh. Uh, baru dia render nampak tak because it's now remember that I show you last week kan I set a motto in solid work kan dia, ok too bad I cannot show you supposed to be ok because biasalah if I do live uh, presentation actually it's ok yang ni the nose actually is a pink color kalau you update my point is you update different material ok my suggestion guys kalau kata you have ni you have a different material if this even case top casing actually dengan nose is one part sometimes you want certain portion of your top casing to be different Make sure you assign in solid work different color. Okay, then only you export to T-Shot. Understand that class I'm talking about? Then I mean, actually I want to make it like this. Eh? Uh, ada, ada, ada. Uh, pink the whole to pink. Tapi too bad I can't show why. Cannot. It's supposed to be there. Eh? Ah, nampak tak guys? Dia ada update. Nampak motion blur. You look like realistic. Eh, Klar, kan? More. You boleh present. Eh? Tapi too bad I cannot show you now. Kita continue esok lah. Sekarang pun lima setengah lah. Tomorrow we continue eh, client, and we show the backdrop image and how do we simulate lighting and the camera view and we can produce like this. Eh? Also, tomorrow, kalau sempat, I show you some animation, kalau boleh lah, explode view. Eh? Kalau you have in SOLIDWORK, you explode view, then this something lah, we can show animation. I have kind like, you can show the, uh, if you look at the explode view. Just sometimes your presentation, so you can show the, Am I sharing this video? No. Video player. Boleh nampak animation. Tomorrow kita go for this. Okay, eh? class. To show as well. Sometimes you want to show to present it. Right? Okay. Uh, yesterday we give you some uh, briefing and little bit lecture introduction about what is product rendering and visualization. And I have shown you a little bit what type of uh, software that we use eh, to do uh, for our product visualization. Eh. The one that uh, I show to you is Kishon. Eh. Um, okay, today is part two. Eh, so, kita continue from where we stop eh, from our yesterday lecture. Okay, uh, anyone recording? Angela, are you here? Angela, tak ada sini. Angela, are you here? Uh, are you recording or not? Alright, thanks. Thanks, Angela. Okay, uh, kita continue eh, uh, on our semalam kita T-Shot. Okay, I show you this why we stopped eh, yesterday, right? Can you see my T-Shot? Eh? Kalau boleh nampak kisah saya. Kelas, uh, boleh uh, kisah saya nampak ke? Kelas, are you there? Boleh nampak saya. Boleh eh? Right. 
and also my notes yeah uh, remember the notes i'm sharing my notes so if you look on my notes here in pdf uh, for the procedure or um that's why i already explained to you yesterday about the importance of product rendering okay you can look on the video lah, how i explained about yesterday the important rendering but just to highlight again uh the basic step for us to do the 3d rendering product rendering so the first one is number one is uh we export model i've shown you where from our solidworks eh? you have you already done your assembly and orientation of your product and you can install the keyshot uh live link plugin eh? and if, from there solidworks we click and then we send to keyshot and Okay, the second step then i already show you step two we add the material to product components uh, for example like the sample product that i show you is usb fan usb fan mostly is a plastic product most of the component is plastic the top casing bottom casing the cap and so on and few of it is metal eh? uh, like screw is metal like for example motor motor part is used metal eh? And, and few of them also are texture for example the pc board we have textures so i already shown you in the previous lecture so we already done that step two eh? uh, step three is add realistic background so this is what we stop eh? so here where we start eh? step three eh? i have not shown you so we continue at this step number three eh? how we add a realistic background okay, uh, class uh, okay we already have our key shot eh? is what we have uh, now but it's just a solid um white background white background <clears throat> okay white background it is okay um actually if you look key shot properly beside material can you look on the left menu here uh, let's look, we have material we have colors okay we have texture texture also you can drag drop to your object and if you look here, we have environment. Eh? Environment is about the lighting environment into your scenery. This is your 3D scenery. But by default, Keyshot, they have the standard. Eh? Normally, Keyshot, they have standard. Eh? They always have environment, eh? the tab here. Yeah? Tab here. Yeah? Environment is the, they use HDRI image. Eh? High, high, HDRI stand for, what do you call it? High, I cannot recall, HDRI. Eh? Uh, high HDRI image, eh? HDRI image, uh, all is, they, they have it. Uh, by default, Keyshot, they, they put in, um, this one, uh, this one, startup, eh? startup is like this. You can simply, this is a lighting environment. If you look, if I zoom out, nampak tak Keyshot? If I zoom out like this, the, the environment actually is a spherical image of your HDRI. Can you can see, can, we kind of like have a contour. If you look at ceiling, yeah. Uh, they have kind of lighting yeah they have environment lighting that would like your scenery will like uh on your product they have environment um this is uh, environment lighting eh? so you mean like a spherical dome eh? spherical they wrap around your environment in terms of spherical eh? so you can play around like this and eh? you can simply drag drop eh? let me go back to zoom eh? i zoom in okay this way here eh? so it means we have basic lighting from the environment for example, you have a lot of library here under panel environment. You can go for environment. Uh, this one is three panel lights. Yeah, three panel light, you mean that studio studio lighting. This is a different environment. Eh? A different environment. If I zoom out a little bit, and you can see they're, they're kind of like all your scenery actually is environment will wrap it by spherical dome, spherical mapping, eh? spherical then map into your scenery so basically we can have we can just drag drop eh? so we have basic lighting so we have basic lighting so much like this one i'm used i drag drop three panel eh? three panel if i zoom out if you look we have kind of like can you see if let me we have three panel of lighting three panel of lighting like for example they have kind of like this small almost like uh, like three panel of light like rectangular shape since they are wrapping in spherical they are kind of like curvature Actually, you can control it. Eh? Uh, hold on. Let me drag this way back. So maybe it's blocking my view. Okay. Actually, at the right here, when you drag drop something, eh? like, for example, uh, okay, you can draw, you can play around. This one is three panel, light. This is different environment. 
you can okay the most yang basic one nothing all black all black means no environment totally dark lah uh, black out you don't have any lighting or sometimes you can drag rock yang any scenery in Malaysia uh, it means that it is a bus room lah tapi not match lah bus room scenery with your um, lighting kan eh the bus room scenery with your lighting something does not match because it's scenery based on the environment on in the bus room you can maybe you can look into uh, kitchen or any indoor uh, for example uh, indoor indoor office so maybe that it would match okay in this one the environment also this image they have their yeah, this is all environment is 360 degree image panoramic taken by a measure photographer their yeah, image in hdri so they are all in spherical mapping so we sometimes we can import this kind of lighting and lighting from this to our actually but we don't want the environment here we don't want the environment to be put there we just want the lighting of it okay you can off and eh? you can off this thing eh? i will show you later tapi uh for example uh, the most basic way we use the startup uh, startup is the most basic eh? startup is the um, default lighting startup if you drag down so it is startup that as shown by default when when you open your picture they always have their default startup environment so they have their lighting <coughs> okay for today okay let's we i want to show you uh, uh because i already explained to you we add a realistic background uh, what i mean i mean step three add realistic background i'm not talking about the environment i'm talking about backplate eh? environment to the lighting condition too later on i show you how we can create our default lighting rather than we import eh? rather than import the environment lighting eh? for example i want it to be uh let me use the startup eh? the environment of this and but i want to superimpose with the backplate eh? this is one quick way eh, for you to to do visualization of your product for example like your machine is a your your project is about device of a product you maybe you can get an image for example like my product is a usb fan i want to uh, do some rendering to show uh, this usb fan on tabletop for example so tabletop like something like your tabletop eh? tabletop uh we take that any table top photo image that that mesh uh, that can be used as a backplane so you mean i want to show that this usb fan is laying on the table top that's an example okay if i share you my browser internet eh? uh, hold on can you see my firefox eh? class Class, uh, are you listening, class? Yes, sir. Line put, ah, uh, takut line putus ke saya. Dah, can you see my browser, Google? Yep, we can see. All right, you Google. Uh, there is a lot of image database, eh, uh, photographer. For example, the most famous one is Pixel. Eh, if you have not heard about it, Pixel, P E X P Cells. Another one is named Unsplash. Eh? and splash so good and splash and splash is a cell you can register uh, or you don't have to register okay first it's pixel pixel is a uh, like a uh, app eh? portal for all these amateur photographer or professional photographer they upload all their photo you can get it free eh? their photo uh, resolution is high 4k eh? <coughs> even go to 4k or a3 size poster eh? with, with uh, size uh they have all you can download any kind of image nah? this is msia photographer same goes with unsplash eh? unsplash also eh? msia photographer okay for example in pixel eh? i want to search tabletop eh? tabletop photo i search tabletop uh, there is a lot of photo you can download it for free okay for example uh, this is nice I, you have can maybe you can go for tabletop but your this backplate image thing must relevant to your product you want to render lah for example like mine is usb fan so sesuai lah if i do put here lah as a my background image eh. this is why because nanti when you render as poster or for your presentation it looks more realistic lah. sometimes we don't want our rendering to be just a solid plain background like this and you want it to be more interesting to look more outstanding eh? 
to make our presentation stand out. Let's look at it is there in in the table top. Yeah? Okay, that's one thing. Okay, now um, for example, I want to use this one. Even here, here also we have eh, uh, a splash. So you type anything yang relevant to you punya photo that you want tabletop. We have a lot of tabletop. Eh? Tabletop view. You can go this one also. You can go on here also. Yeah, depend. It is a plan view lah. Depend. Sometimes maybe you want lower angle, low angle camera view. You can use search lah. You make an effort to search eh, in this pixel or unsplash. Actually, there's a lot more site and eh? not just pixel. But the one, uh, this one, uh, I noticed they're quite popular. Excel. Okay, let's say I want to use this one. Uh, by this one, I open this new tab. Okay, this one eh, is a big eh, uh, photo size. Okay, you can simply just pre-download, download it. <laughs> but guys, normally this is a mature photographer. But when, if you use, actually when you use their image, if you want to publish your render of your product, rendering plus the background played by this photographer, you must credit him lah, at least eh? credit him uh, in this site eh? uh, to give credit so it does not just simply download and do it just credit you don't have to pay for this you just credit him put some like photo in, in description of your rendered image uh, photo by this guy credit him on, on okay you can just free download eh? so you're free download so you can go so I, I want to use this uh, backlit image eh? Download. So I already have in my folder. Eh? Okay, I'll go back to my keyshot. Eh? Plus, <coughs> okay, you want, uh, can you see my keyshot? Eh? Okay, uh, can you Right. So, uh, okay, I already have that image. Uh, I simply okay. This is my keyshot uh, from my folder. Eh? From my folder here. Yeah? Um, simply, I drag drop eh, the image. Eh? So. If I drag drop in my keyshot, boleh you nampak tak? That is my backplate. Nampak tak? My backplate is already in my background of my keyshot. Nampak tak, plus? Yes. Alright, it's there. So, okay. Then, after you have done back adding, then after setting the specificity which we were will interrupt, then I start to add an appropriate background. Uh, uh, yeah, you add background, eh? backplate. You must provide contact the product. Has uh create purple okay step number four eh? this one you step three you add the back plate step number four create purple spool lighting adding light shadow okay it mean we have to because one thing okay i already i already drag and drop my my ini tetapi in term of my lighting is sometimes it's not uh as the same as the photo lighting if you look the lighting of this photo we have phone we have coffee mug and we have keyboard if you study the lighting, that kind of, that is something lighting at the upper left of your, this backlit image. Eh? In, I mean the photo uh, lighting, the photographer punya lighting, eh? that is kind of like upper left, they have kind of light, sort of light. So it means that our scenery, this is our three scene. Even my camera view also does not match to the perspective. Eh? Like if I render macam ni pula kan, that's not, eh? my perspective of my USB fan is does not match with the because the photo is looking directly like almost like top view right so we got to match eh? set your camera okay, remember you how you navigate your uh, uh shot by hold down your left button mouse no? so you just drag down uh, to make your position of your camera about okay sometimes it's quite difficult for us to match the perspective of our 3d view of our usb uh, usb pen eh? to match the photo uh, it's good, eh? for example, in your camera, you just on the ground grip. Eh? Take note, eh? camera here, you on the ground grip, you can see the grip of your 3D view. So, this is a plane of view. So, one way to do it, if you see the line, I want to match you know, the line here. Can you see the line of my, I'm talking about upper left one. Can you see, I want to match the line of the phone, eh? the phone, the phone line like that. So, I cannot do it like this. So that's not match. Can you can see the grid line? My grid line, I want it to match uh, yeah, as the phone punya, as the phone punya line. The grid line to match the phone punya grid line. Because we need to match kind of like perspective view lah. So that is match. So if you look, kalau tengok, we just adjust a little bit. Just make sense lah guys. Eh? Jangan you render that you show Jenny your back right like that. Not, not, that's not make sense lah. So you on the grid eh? Camera tadi you on the grid eh? Uh, ground grid is on so the grid line to match it uh, 
pop right something like that okay i think that's nice then you can off the grid okay but now do not move your camera guys do not click kalau macam ni if you press the left button it will detect your view lah uh, to do that for example i remember navigate the key shot the your your scroll wheel too you can press as middle mouse button because we need to panning eh? we are not tilting kalau left button if you move is as rotate so your punya perspective already does not match eh? uh, so uh, middle button mouse you hold down and uh, just adjust it already okay one thing i found out okay our view is right but does the size of this usb fan really is the uh really the exact size and eh? okay for example okay now i want you to look on the uh, right menu here okay right menu here okay class eh? can you see on the right menu we have before the, we have seen right we have material eh? so we have the tab on your right menu we have camera view camera view ni you can lock one view you can save one view okay camera you mean you don't want to accidentally move your camera view wrongly sometimes you tilted the view so you need to readjust again the matching the perspective sometimes you need to lock one view okay this is free camera as long free camera you can if i press my left button mouse i can move around to us rotate eh? i don't want to do that i want to save one view you mean you will not okay i like this view okay i can add a camera here and fine okay not free camera you can is that there, there's the left menu in, in your free camera here eh? you have a uh, add camera add new camera add new camera this you can name the camera view so i, I can name you can name it uh top camera top view camera final view okay i said it's my final view that i want okay i can name it camera final view okay this one we have button the lock kalau this one unlock eh? the, the, you have icon at the end eh? lock kalau lock i if i if i apa, try to move with my mouse left button it will not uh, jadi we are safe eh? there tak because we already i already agree with this view Okay, sometimes maybe I want to manipulate. Okay, I can go to preview camera. Preview camera, I can simply that is manipulate. Nah. Manipulate, maybe I want to do some adjust. Okay, then if I go back to camera final view just now, exclude here, then it will, will go back to, you can add more than one camera. Any view, then one you can uh, save. Maybe side view, maybe bottom view, you can go for that. Nah. You add camera, you can rotate, and you must lock it, lock it. Okay, another thing, uh, the, the, but this camera view just now, okay, if I click camera view, I cannot do anything. If you look on the menu, on the right, everything is grayed out because I lock it. I, I, I unlock it again because why? Because I, I, I'm talking about the size. The view is right. The view direction from the top of the phone is right. But in terms of the size of the phone, too, maybe it does not make sense. And maybe it's too small compared. If you look on the size of your phone on your, and it's the size of USB fan, do you think, does it make sense? Uh, this is a side of the phone. Sometimes maybe your distance too. Uh, this is camera. You have distance. Distance is distance. Okay. This is too big. Lah. Of course. Lah. Nonsense. Lah. Kalau, kalau macam this is too small. Lah, kan? So you just need to be adjust. This is distance. Your camera view is already fixed. But this is distance of you punya zoom in, zoom out. Lah. Like camera you have uh, zoomer. Eh? You have zoom. Zoom in, zoom out. Lah. Zoom in. To make. To, this is what we call distance. Mean you punya zoom in zoom out camera position is right but zoom in so in terms of distance eh? so you adjust the speed until i think this is about the right size of my you know kalau macam ni too big eh? this one too big eh? so you have to adjust eh? compare lah we refer as the phone size and this is your okay let's say i agree with this size eh? Uh, this is the size of my USB pen. So I will lock again my camera finally lock again. Lock again so it grabs out. I cannot look. Okay, that's our final last view. Okay, that is our let me save loop. Let me save this work. Okay. Um the next step after you adjust camera, yang tadi step number five to also lighting. Eh? Step number five to also about lighting. Uh set uh okay, step sorry. Actually, step number five to just now is camera view eh? i i i already skipped this but actually step number four to lighting do we go back lighting too but i have not set the purpose for lighting lighting that really match to your background the uh, image bit if you want to render like this also okay no problem this one look good enough and eh? you can simply render final okay tapi to make it look more realistic and more professional you have to <coughs> okay you look carefully eh? if you look at the mark no the mark they have shadow all right Tora class Nampak tak? Kelas, are you listening or not? Kelas? Yes, sir. 
the mark the mark coffee mark tu they have shadow nampak shadow it means we kind like our light source look kind like upper right corner eh? uh, upper left corner somewhere that that is light source somewhere maybe from the windows or maybe light from your uh, table light eh? who knows and if you look on the shadow eh? shadow of the keyboard you can see the shadow of your handphone and also shadow of the mark you mean that our light source there will be a light source somewhere upper left that but it's at a high position a little bit high that's why we have short shadow here. if it not in if the light source is a little bit not high position maybe lower position you mean the shadow is longer lah. so we need to match eh? okay one thing to do okay i already saved this part okay i don't want to you remember that in okay in left panel we have material i'm talking about environment environment i can drag down lah. Uh, this one I'm using startup. Eh? If I drag now, okay, I don't want to use this anymore. Let's say I want to use totally black, eh? black environment. We have uh, environment black. Black is totally black. Eh? Totally black is one, all black. Uh, this one, they show the all black, it means black out. Lah. Our light source don't have any light source. Okay, we start from the black. Eh? We start from the uh, basic. It means we don't have light. So we create our own purposeful uh, lighting eh? that really match the the need. we create our own environment okay i need to show okay we take note on this eh? <coughs> so how do we create our own environment lighting eh? okay our own environment lighting. if you look on your left menu you know, not under scene not under material not under camera and the, the fourth step eh? the fourth step eh? environment eh? environment eh? okay environment is yeah you create eh? as i mentioned to you okay uh we don't have i already i drag down the all black so our environment is totally black eh? we don't have light source eh? so we build our own yeah, remember as i tell you the environment is kind of like spherical mapping eh? your environment is kind of like sphere dome big sphere sphere dome and it map to your your environment to your product so we create our own environment eh? okay in the make sure that you are in environment tab eh? because can you see all is black eh? because i drag down the all black I mean there's no source okay okay that this is setting setting is about how you change the brightness of your environment and eh? the the open your main setting the brightness if you have light source you can you can uh, multiple the brightness and eh? by uh, give the brightness two times okay brightness but by default, do not change it. Remain it as one. Even the contrast, it remain as one. It means that your your environment too is not a uh, image of your HDR environment too. The, the normally you can get if I drag drop any kind of file. Yeah. This actually is all done by photographer. Right? They make the 360 degree panoramic in your environment. Uh, they have already set by their photo the brightness and you, you don't change that thing. I mean, you change the environment brightness. You you multiply it by two times. Do not change make one and one also contrast that's the thing but what we want to do we want to set our own source of light to do that not under settings here make sure you in an environment here this is the menu not under setting but under hdr i editor uh, hdr editor is where you put kind of like i show you how you put like uh because we have spherical dome environment but it's all black yeah? our spherical dome is totally black and uh, now we in, need to need hdr editor why you add a light source eh? you add the light source. okay you have hdr editor if you have a menu eh? this one you add pin pin eh? add pin me you add a pin a light source eh? this one uh, you add the second one is you add a uh, gradient pin eh? you can make your environment gradient uh, this one you can play around but i teach you only basic guys eh? now the, the only thing i teach you add pins eh? we add a light source eh? okay here because we are totally black the background totally black i need to add one light source eh? I click one light source. You know, part that is one light source. That is one other one light source. It means, number that you put your all you put your USB fan. That is one light source, and they have a shadow. Tetapi we cannot see where is the location of this light source. Eh? Where is the location? Because if you see this, if you see yang this black area, yang word like this rectangular black area ni spherical mapping wrap to spherical to your environment of your three D scenery. So I click at the light source. It means like my light source is kind of like in position zero, zero. Horizon is zero. Light source me if I drag somewhere, if I drag by my mouse in it. Uh, can you see? Uh, it means I add, I move my light source to upper azimuth, upper level, upper level. So this one is level. So at zero, zero, this means at level, ground level. If I put below, it is at bottom ground. But in our case, kita ground level, kita upper ground. Eh? 
the middle line here is like your punya ground level bottom ni is bottom of your because there are spherical mapping even bottom not just the top huh? so make sure you make at the top you mean you punya light will put at the ceiling here is somewhere your light punya level high level is somewhere in the in the middle uh, b is okay x this is your punya x axis lah you can move around maybe rotation angle lah if, let's say if i pull like this can you see the shadow is moving my shadow is more toward up right if i moving here my shadow is more toward up so this does not match like the shadow from the phone and the copy like as i mentioned to you it's now my light source is somewhere is upper right eh? if you look on the photo here eh, of this uh, tabletop you mean my light source should be at the upper top eh? so i move my light okay i just move my light source it match that you mean from uh, okay uh, this is about right eh? you can see the shadow can you see the shadow of my phone too it does match if you see if you look on the shadow of the phone and the shadow of my usb fan uh, it looks like my uh, this is a position like my light source is somewhere is upper left corner here shadow can like put can project to here project to this one shadow project here. this one you can play around guys eh? because this is you know actually uh Okay, you can control your position not just by moving by your mouse here. You can, okay, you, I add a pin. Eh? I can play around with this one. Eh? Okay, you can adjust your position instead of using mouse. We have azimuth. Eh? Azimuth mean you punya, uh, you punya location in terms of degree lah, angle, not not level, eh? not elevation. Eh? Elevation. Azimuth, okay, I can control azimuth. If I put it there, my, my, my shadow protruding upward, that's not right. So, I, azimuth is your in term of your location of your uh ni eh? you punya position of your horizon horizon position you control the where is the location of your azimuth okay i think this is about right okay the shadow is kind like uh matching with the this one eh? it mean like my light source is from the upper right eh? if you look at the photo okay level yeah elevation yeah like I told you, elevation is you pick it higher so it means you punya light source is higher lah if you make it Elevation, if you mean zero degrees, it means you are at ground level. Eh? Uh, if you go here, it's negative. Negative means bottom ground. Cannot be. Zero, if you, you type zero degrees, that is a ground level. Tapi ground level, no lah. It means if you're, because, okay, this is your back plane. Eh? This is your ground plane. Eh? Like tabletop is your ground plane. So, you punya light source is betul-betul at the level of the ground plane. So, you, that's why your shadow become uh, more longer lah. Because it, at horizon, eh? somewhere horizon, macam sunrise and eh? so shadow is longer so i need to control the elevation okay you can just move in your mouse and you can control by the azimuth and elevation elevation that you control it so i need just to mesh eh? to mesh as the same as my okay when i'm done with this source of lighting okay this source of lighting i can increase eh? i can increase the radius the radius if the radius is bigger it means your light source is bigger and your shadow becomes softer because your light source is bigger it means your distribution of light to uh, uniformly uh, projected so shadow is softer if your radius of light source is very small your shadow will become so sharp because light source is small because when the area of your light like like um, uh, like source that project to your product if you make it bigger uh, it becomes softer shadow. Okay? Become soft. Become softer shadow. Eh? Okay. You make it about. Uh, I think it's about thirty two. Is right now. Nah? Becomes. Okay. Okay. That is my. My. This uh, you just kind like controlling the wheel. Eh? I, I just need to make some adjustment eh? to mesh. Maybe the elevation to make it a little bit up on scale. Okay. I have a light source here. Yeah? Okay. One thing, uh, another thing, if you look on light source, okay, if you look, the power of my light source, it can't time it don't have the illuminance power is still not enough. Eh? You know, kind of like if you look on my USB fan, still like dark, it's not kind of like illuminate the uh, So we can increase not the size, the brightness, yeah? the brightness. Yeah? So this is the brightness. Default is one, let's go for two, little bit, two time brightness. Maybe you can go for five okay you think this one is right okay that is good nah? so okay, maybe i go for six you can play around but do not put 50 like right? blown up like this huh? yeah uh okay about five play around eh? okay um 
Okay, if I okay, if I'm satisfied with this my first light source setting, then I click done. <coughs> Plus, okay, eh, Kak, eh? Boleh dengar, eh? Plus. Yes. Right. Okay, another thing, okay. My light source is okay. I have my light source already put eh? one. Okay, let me save the load this. Okay. I have already light source from the apparatus. If you look another thing, uh, actually. What about at the bottom view? Uh, the, the, the area of my phone does that not receive light. It's kind of like too dark. Eh? The ambient is too dark. Eh? Actually, I can create, simulate, because actually, why? If you look at my uh, image, young HDRI, I put all black. So it means the only here is we have light source from here. So I just show to you where is that light source. Maybe you are not, you are not uh, quite understand uh, what the controlling. It's a spherical mapping. Okay, let's go for camera. Just take note on this camera because this camera view, I cannot rotate it. I already locked. I go to free camera. So I can simply rotate. Okay, you cannot see where is my light source because my background plate is, uh, uh, the background is already, I made put uh, back plate image, eh? the photo. I can off my back plate for a while. Okay, take note on this and the environment menu here. Background, you off the loop, off your back plate. Eh? This for a while, just temporarily off it, just to show. I want to show you uh, background, not environment. Sorry, not here. You put under lighting environment, not the back plate. Back plate will show your back plate image. I want the lighting I want to show where is the. Okay. Okay. Where is the last source? Here? Why is the lighting is ready? If you look, if I zoom out, eh? if I told you it's all spherical mapping. You know, part that you that the light source was started. That, that is a pin that I just add in my environment. This one. You know, Plus, 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 Okay, this is a light source that I just had. If I change the azimuth, uh, they, they can move. Eh? Okay, this one I got there. Negative, negative one to see. If I uh, uh, move, I can't. Can they can like spherical? Uh, much like a spotlight. Right? And this kind like a spotlight. So, how big dapat? the big of the circle is the radius lah you control. Okay, this one is good. Negative one to six. Eh? Okay, already there. Alright, uh, okay, that's how it control. Okay, another thing, because since, can you see that my environment, only this portion saja ni, the lighting it up, eh? but that some area ni, if you look at the bottom side, it kind like dark. Eh? So I need to make all the ambient, eh? the surrounding area a little bit, I want to add some light, another light to make it um, lights because of, because the tabletop photo that uh, we make as a backlit, actually it's not dark dark room. It's kind of like that is a surrounding lighting. Eh? So I add another point here. I want to show you. I add another point here. Okay, here you add another pin. I add another pin. This is pin 2. Pin 2 means, okay, this one. Eh? Okay, call it if you look. If I zoom in, we have another. Napa ta, ah, pin 2 is add. Okay, it's, this one I don't have not. You must click down first and then you can drag it. Uh, this pin 2 is add here. But this pin 2, okay, if you if you click at pin 1, you adjust pin 1, your first point. Pin 2 is this one. Pin 2 and this one. I just add. Okay, pin 2 here, I don't want it to be, I can control the azimuth so in terms of rotation and also the elevation. But I want the pin 2 me, to be totally top, like a ceiling and totally, but the radius is so big, but it's not too bright. It kind of like uh, illuminate the surrounding environment. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So I go to pin 2, I move it up. I move it back to, to the top position. You can see your uh, top is 180. Wait, okay, 180 is actually there, not 180. Top means, sorry, sorry, not azimuth, guys. Okay? Azimuth is the location. Azimuth, I put zero. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm talking about elevation. Elevation, I want to bring it ceiling. Uh, they kind of, because this is all spherical mapping, guys. So you bring ceiling. So I'm using uh, pin tool. So this one, ceiling. Ceiling was surrounding, surrounding. Okay, but if you look, I drag it up. Okay, this is pin two that I just. Okay, actually, guys, you put your shape of your light pin. You can control circular or rectangular. You can go for rectangle and you can control by circular. But I go for circular. Rectangle, you can make rectangular shape. Maybe you want to simulate there will be some uh, ceiling lighting that have rectangle hole. Uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, sunroof up at the top. Eh? Uh, okay, but by default, I go for circular. Okay, circular, it means circular, but I want to make it bigger radius. Eh? 
I increase the radius, so big, not that big, like, a little bit bigger. You kind of like surrounding, and okay, surrounding, and also kind of like, okay, here we have fall off. Fall off means, guys, it, you, you, it's fading off. It's fading off. Eh? I make a little bit fall off, kind of like fading off. Uh, this kind of like, like environment, like a little bit fall off, but I want to make the radius bigger. So, I mean, the radius kind of like surrounding all the, until the ground level. Surrounding until the ground level. Until the ground level. So, kind of like a surrounding environment. So, I, I, to make sure that my, this one is not too dark here. Too dark here, not too dark. Okay. If it is too bright, okay, that pin to, to I can change the brightness, not this one. Little bit, you can go to 0.75. Actually, as long as they start look like this. Because why? If I don't have pin to, let me off my pin to. This one is totally dark, guys, here. You can your beside. Okay, we already have illuminated that upper left corner. But all the other side of your knee kind of like dark, eh? kind of like uh, not right. Eh? If much like you are in the dark room. The backplate image that you superimpose, that is just a trick. Eh? Backplate image you superimpose, eh? but you have to create your 3D product in the shot to assimilate the backplate on your lighting. So that's why I add the pin to the ion body. So it's there. So kind of, so this one I make the, okay, I think it's about right. Maybe I reduce it a bit, the sounding environment, look in 2 to 0.5. Eh? I should not look too dark. All right, uh, that's one way. Actually, you can add more to look more professional. Uh. After some time, guys, okay, this is my way to do it. I start from basic. Oh, you, kalau you malas, guys, you play drag drop sini, guys. Are you listening, guys? You play drag drop the environment. Sometimes you malas, you play drag drop. All studio. Guys. This shortcut, eh, for you guys, for your project. Sometimes you don't want to think about it. It's kind of like tedious process for you. Never mind. So, okay, you can simply drag drop all the basic and the environment. You just drag drop to your screen. Then we'll do it. Okay, let me say my work. Okay, I think I'm satisfied with this kind of lighting. Okay, now I on back my backplane. Eh? Where is it? Just now on the environment background on meant by backplane image. <laughs> okay, my backplane. Why is it not in position? Because I'm free camera. Remember just now I'm using free camera. My camera view already one. Eh? Camera already safe. Okay, on the camera tab here. Remember camera final view? is there already. So you click at that. So you go back to you. Let me save this one. So this one already done. Eh? This is a still image that I can show to you. Eh? We render. Eh? This is a still image. So okay one more thing eh, class for you to render um actually you can play around this software a lot of adjustment you can need like, but you can look in youtube a lot for tutorial to create more professional lighting even material and so on eh. okay let me save okay now you can render it eh. okay one thing i need i want to show to you remember this one okay this is animation tab eh. whenever my solid work remember Last week, I show you any my SOLIDWORKS file too. You have motion, have animation, right? I put the motor and the rotator. If you look on the... Okay, let me go just a little bit on camera view. Uh, never mind, I can zoom in. If you look on the blade, is they have... Okay, why sometimes, if not, if you, if you look on the shortcut button, this is animation. Punya. If you look on your bottom bar, you have animation. You call it, you don't show it, animation here. Yeah. Whatever SOLIDWORKS, you have motion. Uh, you have that in will be recorded in your t shot eh? So you click at the animation auto, you press shortcut E A A for animation, A again and animation for your panel. So when you bring this, you can time frame, frame by frame. If you drag here, you drag here, you can see your blade is rotated. Your blade is rotated. Okay, blade is rotated. Eh? Tapi you can see that is motion blur. Sometimes you cannot say, oh, sir, why it's rotated? Sometimes why it's not motion blur? Because here, eh, this is motion blur. Yeah, it's not already on it. If I pull it off, if you see my blade is kind of static eh? so to make it more realistic uh, this one motion blur you click on then it will be in motion blur okay one thing i want to show that only the the uh, the pink usb fan and the blue yang the motor rotated but not the green one the green one i want to show in my render to show the blade because if it's rotated it's motion blur. i cannot show that one is a blade the only the green one i want to show it is a blade i don't want it to be rotated okay under here guys Okay, let me drag eh, your panel of your animation. Eh, you can drag it like this. Okay, all the motion tadi. Nampak tak, guys? Because since, remember, yesterday, I duplicate all the USB fan into pink and into blue, right? So, I think because if I have only one uh, green saja, I have one assembly motion eh, because I duplicate this into, into uh, two to three. So, I have three assembly motion. Eh. This is already recorded eh, by in SOLIDWORKS. It's already recorded in this shot. Okay, assembly motion one is where is it? I want to off it. I want to, I want the green one. Kalau yang ini, yang this one is blue. Nampak tak? Blue tu, the blade is not rotated. I off the motion. Plus. 
Are you watching or not, class? Yes. Nampak tak ada blue black is not rotated eh? But I want the blue to be rotated. I on the assembly motion. Only the green. The green in the middle, I orbit. Uh, so to look more more better lah uh, in term of to explain about your product. Lah. Okay, we have, okay, one is not rotated, the two is rotated. Okay, then I go back to my camera, finally, to go back like that, so like that, then I save, then we will do the, okay. First one, yeah, I want to show you render still image, yeah? this one as a poster, or you render put into your PowerPoint, yeah? when you do presentation, or in your YouTube, yeah? show your image, so that's much better. Okay, how do we render as a still image, yeah? i show you. Okay. If you look on this amateur photographer that I show you, what is the size? Actually, this is me. Uh, you can see the browser balik eh, Clark, eh? Boleh, eh? Yeah, amateur photographer ni, the backplate image ni, uh, the size are uh, 4, 9, 2, 8, 3, 2, ni pixel guys, eh? It's a big size. It's a big size, eh? 4, 9, 2, 8, 3, 2, 6, 4. It's a big size image. Okay, kalau you match dengan dia punya ni, it's much better lah. But I want to show you, make sure, if you want to render in T-Shot, you make sure you go for this resolution. But this one, I can explain to you too, I can render exactly this image of my resolution. But it takes time, eh? because it's, guy, eh? 4, 9, 2, 8, it's for pixel by 2, it's really big size. Eh? But I just show you, you want to render in F4. Let's say you want to print it. You want to print your work to print, you go to the, any printing shop, just 3 ringgit, 2 ringgit, you can go for that, then uh, they will do it, they will print for you A4 size, eh? Atau for your presentation also as digital, lah. Okay, uh, how do we render? Okay, take note, eh, class, eh? Render, I, I'm talking about still image, not animation, eh? Uh, this is still image, because actually this animation, I, I render as a one image, eh, as JPEG. Kenapa dia tak ada ni? Ah, yeah, ini supposed to be in the other motion blur, kan? Just to check, kan? Motion blur, motion blur, yeah, ada. Okay, guys, finally, eh, the last one before you render, okay, you save dulu, you save your work. Okay, guys, eh, tengok sini, before you render, take note about this, eh, lighting, tengok, lighting, eh, okay, sometimes you punya lighting ni basic. Uh, basic it means not that beautiful, because it, the way it calculate is not uh, based on really calculate the punya, uh, what we call it, the global illumination, that's not that really calculate physical lighting, make sure for final output, because sometimes lighting you want to make to fire. performance mode is uh, uh this is only basic lighting performance maybe you want to do much like you are doing what you want to manipulate add material because maybe your cpu is not strong enough uh, maybe you want to uh but you want to save your mem uh, cpu punya power consumption you go for for performance performance mode is not this not the finalized punya render eh? okay finalized punya render you want to make last one lighting okay after you have done the manipulate or adding material lighting background the last kali you go for product can you see guys eh because we are product design lighting product product really global illumination they really calculate lighting shadowing is much better quality eh? take note on them before your punya apa tu uh, itulah before you render eh make sure lighting go for product eh Okay, if I you save, okay, how do we, how do we render it, class? Okay, render it, take note, eh? render, class, are you there? Yes. Right. Render, sound okay, eh? tak ada putus-putus, eh? Class, okay, eh? sound okay, eh? right. Hello, class, I'm talking, okay, good. Line okay? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, render equal ni. Finally, you want to render. Render. Ni last, the render. This render. Click render. Okay, you have this pop-up. <coughs> okay, first thing is about before, okay, output is where you put your file and you render. Nanti hold on dulu eh. Okay, it's about the size dulu. Okay, this is where the folder you want to render. I already put into my folder. You can click the folder. This is my folder, product modeling visualization. And okay, this is the name. Just be fan animate like that, eh? All right. <laughs> okay, this is a folder. Okay, be careful. Before, not simply you click render, eh? About the size ni, mana dia? The size, I want it to be... Hmm. Okay, can you see the resolution, eh? Nampak, class? The resolution is the size white one. Okay. This is the resolution, eh? Uh, 
you can go for what resolution that you want and eh? we have you can get three eight four oh four two five five oh by default i'm using two four one oh pixel two four one which are that already in it. you can go the lower resolution for example six forty four two four no like, it's not good eh? when you render it's a small size you want to go for better coating go for like for example two four five oh and above but you can go even two five six oh four one nine six and this in this in term resolution your length and your height eh? length on your height in okay this is dpi guys eh? dpi in 150 dpi if you want to go your image for printing you know printing when you printing uh, you send want to printing to a4 for example um uh you should go for 300 dpi eh? tapi it must take longer lah um take longer to uh you punya uh 300 dpi this for printing tapi just to send to share your image in the internet uh, on digital lah not on hard copies uh go for 100 this is my suggestion i take note eh? my advice 150 dpi is fair enough it's good enough okay okay i go 150 dpi i go for my resolution that i want okay i go for 2560 okay let's go for uh color the bigger it takes longer for you to i just want to try not too big uh three eight four zero okay let's go for two five six oh this one is good enough eh? two five pixel eh? okay there is okay make sure another one is your you want to render in what png you know png right jpeg exr is another format of image tip and so on eh? okay we go for jpeg eh? standard quality jpeg eh? okay make sure eh? this is a quality if this one is lower quality make sure you go scroll until 100 percent quality Okay, another thing before you render, another thing eh, you should know. Because, but guys, I explain you only basic, guys. Eh? Only basic. Okay. Nee, you have, this one is output, the option, you think, eh? option. Option, eh? okay, samples, guys, sample, maximum sample. Option, eh? okay, kalau you put lower sample, you mean you put your quality, okay, you already, I already defined my size, isn't it? Just now, the size of my image, two, five times, this now, like resolution, but this is sample. Sample, you mean the way the your CPU and GPU of your uh, this software processing sample. The more sample, when you render, the more sample you put, it mean your quality, your image will become more better. If you put low sample, it mean like and because this kind of rendering, they calculate physics lighting, guys. Eh? They really calculate the light bounce and so on. So the lower sample you put, the quality of your render is lower. Lah. So the better to increase the sample. Lah. Mine is now I put it to 100. Hey, sorry, 600. Eh? Depends, eh? depends. Think of what is capability of your nila. 600. Color, I can go for 1,000 sample. It's much quality. You mean, how much they're sampling? They render sampling, sampling, sampling. One, one piece, sample. First sample, two sample. The more sample you put, the remember, it means the better the quality it will be. And the better quality, it means the sampling, sampling. Sometimes when you render global emission, they kind of have a noise. Guy. They calculate physics like eh? something if lower sample. If you increase the sample, it means 600 sampling on your one image, but it takes a little bit longer. Lah. Okay, that's why I go for 300. Then I render it. Okay, I render, then it will I'll do the rendering. But I got me number, they will render the process. Plus. Uh, but since I put 600 guy, call you tell your PC cannot go for any, I put 600 sample. Eh? Uh, number 1%, you have to little bit waiting. It depends on guys. Eh? Maybe you can put lower resolution, 2% rendering. Boleh sabar menunggu ke kelas? Boleh eh? Sikit je, bawah 5, sampai 100%. Are you watching or not, kelas? Yes, yes. Ini kita zoom out lagi pada pada ini. Dia sampling, 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 sampling. Uh, okay, actually sir, you might ask me sir. Okay, if one image takes so long, what about animation sir? We have a lot of frames, right? But make sure for animation nanti I show you for animation. Uh, we don't go for really a lot of sampling. Uh, go for just about ideal sampling punya rates. Eh? Sometimes if if you have powerful, then maybe you can wait for you run overnight. Eh? You just make it render and you can go to speed tomorrow in the morning so your animation is done I, i'm talking about animation animation because maybe you have animation we are not rendering one image and the one that i show you and only render one image still image and you will kejap lah sabar menunggu je lah eh? sekejap je baru 14
sambil tu boleh minum kopi ke apa kan Boleh lah, you try this opet lah kan-kan eh? Rather than you just show drawing engineering Drawing you want to present, you show assembly drawing in solo work Sometimes it does not look outstanding eh? Sometimes you want you to present your work to common people Not engineering people Common people, other department You know, not everybody can read engineering You show as product drawing, assembly drawing You think, uh, I'm talking about communication To explain about your product So there is a thing lah that 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 can aid eh, uh, your documentation eh? and also uh, like I told you yesterday, safe cost. We look at the how the product really looks like eh, uh, before we make a physical prototype. Eh? Even for communication, for discussion with uh, other department, with your client, feedback, it improve documentation, safe cost before physical prototype because you look the product. Eh? Before this, if you this thing, you just make a physical prototype and you add, make, do whatever, select material and manufacture, but at the end, the look of the product will not, is not good, then you have to restart, you will waste cost around that. Ini pasal saya letak 100 sample, guys. I think 300, 400 also good, fair enough lah. This one I put yang really, really lot of sample. Uh, and also a big size punya screen for you, you can go for tu lah, kalau resolution, like just now I put 2500 resolution and 2560 resolution time 1696 so that's why it takes longer well, uh, you have this big image, then you compile in your presentation lah put into your portfolio guys eh? well, guys, yang, guys, are you listening? you have to produce portfolio group portfolio class Hello class, kena buat portfolio tau? Yes sir. Portfolio, you can upload your portfolio, can I show you yesterday Behance, you can put into Behance, uh, you have, uh, no sorry, you have yang uh, uh, UTM portfolio kan? Class, e-portfolio, do you, ni? Do you aware of that class? Are you aware? Are you aware that you have e-portfolio? Put the audio, yeah. You make this rendered image of your, your product design put into your portfolio. Right? So because the portfolio will be sent to your future employer, they will see your works or it will impress them. Okay? It will impress them. Okay, while we are waiting, are there any, any questions? Are there any questions, class? While we are waiting, ini baru 48%. Can you look, nampak tak dia punya image? Uh, this is something lah, can, can, uh, when you do your presentation, you provide this kind of rendered image, lah. so much look more, near, more stand out, eh? Stand out you punya presentation lagi look more new. Hmm. Ah, tak apa lah, I don't want to wait eh, class okay lah. Eh? I, I already have the image class, understand eh, class. Actually 54% of it. Do you want to wait or what? Kita tahu wait sekejap ya, 57 dan I show dia dia punya, I show dia dia image is here, you have motion blur kan, it must look better Maybe you can make your punya product guys, if you are listening guys, you make your product kind of like, uh, one is a uh, full example, another another part is uh, beside the full example of your product, uh, beside it, macam this one, I just duplicate uh, pink and blue right Maybe you can make your orientation like this. One is full assemble, the other part is disassemble. Component you laying on the ground. Maybe people can see the, okay, this is a full product in assembly and this one is disassembly punya mode. 
uh, put your casing, top casing, bottle casing, laying all the ground plane, uh, all the uh, internal component. Uh, you, people can see what is uh, inside. Uh, they also can do that. Depend on your creativity, you know, how you want to explain what you can render. Maybe you can go for not just one view, another multiple view, there is one view, there is another side of view. This uh, example that I show you showing the design variation, design variation to show to your client, okay, we have this kind of design. Maybe here we want to make a different product. <coughs> you can show this one is more like this one because this is rabbit, this one is more on cat. Okay, you're modeling in your solid world, like, you have a cat eh? and the ear of the cat is different and all the rest of the body is the same. And this one more on elephant, you have a trunk and uh, you have elephant here on pro for the blue. Eh? Um, this is something you show your product, so people look at it, uh, you then uh, uh, people interested of this product and they will invest some money, like collaboration with the company, because the company, they have the facilities of injection molding and so on. So they are working, you are working together with that company, like, so you can make money on that same, yeah? just a simple product like this. Okay, yeah. Because you already have the drawing, you have the solid work parts, man. so that's really, really valuable. Eh? So for you to set up, eh? to make a product design. 77, 77, okay. <coughs> Are you talking class? Class? Sorry, class? Plus line, okay. Okay. Are there proper uh, a few installed the software? Uh, the, you can sometimes collect if you are you are keen on this uh, on this uh, product modeling in solid work and drink. Then also you can build your career on this guy. Eh? Just to tell you, eh? because uh, there's a lot job out there eh? like in like guru.com, freelancer.com. They need people like this eh? to do the product visualization of their product. They know they know how to do. Maybe they have a CAD model, but they don't know how to do visualization. So this you can build a career based on this expertise also. Eh? It's good also if you, you explore this, this thing, eh? product visualization. All right, we are almost done, 99 percent. Okay, done. Eh? So the it's already saved. I click done. Okay, let me save my work. Are you there, Russ? Hello, Russ. Yes. So let me browse where is the name. Let me share the final output, the photo. So this is my image. Number eh, Russ? Ni? Friend kita. Russ, are you watching or not? Can you see the image? Yes. Already rendered. Okay, uh, this uh, full scale. Besar kan? Uh, full scale. Ini you can put as a background image of your desktop. Lah. You can save as a background your, your works. So, okay lah this one again. It looks more impressive eh, rather than nothing, right? Betul lah guys. Eh? Betul lah. Okay. It's kind of like to you maybe I already explained. Ah, this one okay lah. Tapi some two people, okay. Eh, sometimes when... Uh, that's case, I show my 3D image, people look, eh, is it the real thing, kan? People think, eh, benda ni dah, is it there? They, they, thought, they, they thought it is a real thing. Yeah, there is something that you can do lah to make it stand out, eh? as I mentioned to you. Okay, guys, can I go for the second part? Eh? So, this uh, still image. Okay, my second part is for animation. Eh? Animation. Okay, for animation, I think I have to 
quit my ni balik i need to go for solid work balik okay guys kita proceed eh untuk you want to render a uh, little bit i want to show just a uh, exploded animation but you get your project maybe you can you you maybe you have done your your project uh, your apa tu uh, motion analysis right eh? you have some mechanism moment okay you can bring that to keyshot send to keyshot and then uh, the keyshot will have the animation it will read the animation that you simulation that you done in solid work okay let me recall uh, let me open my solid work in hold on sekejap my solid work uh, which one that i have the animation okay solid work let me recall this thing with solid work okay Okay, class, are you listening or not? Class? Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Before I go for animation, uh, one thing, I just opened back my, uh, just now tadi. I opened balik. Uh, let me share you again my key shots now. Because why? Uh, I need to explain to you one thing. Okay. Just now, we already rendered uh, uh, still image, eh? rendered as a photo. And it's about material we can save eh? because uh the second part i want to explain to you is about animation i mean i got to open a different file of my solid work not as original uh, yang, the one that i go this one is for steel eh? i mean the blade uh, the fan rotated eh? the fan blade is rotated but i have another mode of solid work which is uh exploded view eh? exploded view animation and but the material too if i export to keyshot live link keyshot open the keyshot and the material i have to add again do again manually add put logo on the shot that is tedious process lah so i can save the material like this guy i show to you eh? okay i open this this me eh? all the material that i have here okay for example eh? look here i can save to the libraries in here because this material only in this file but this material that i already done eh? remember eh? okay let me go back camera view you are watching keyshot eh? nampak kan keyshot eh? okay okay so this material for example eh, this material the top casing i select to make sure i'm seeing more i select the top casing okay top casing i edit uh edit the uh, okay edit the material the material name is soft green front casing okay so i name it macam ni uh, i all this thing i save the material because i have not explained to you yesterday about save to library eh? okay I, I let's let me let me uh soft green front casing to this uh soft green front casing soft green front casing eh? i just delete it and i save it to the library i save eh? it will put to your permanent library eh? my three i just click okay and uh this one i select this one uh this one is a tab edit material okay then soft green front this not soft green this one will be soft green uh front cap soft green front cap it's not soft green front casing eh? so i save it it will save to your library this will save to your material library okay the, another one is uh let me okay i off and yang the fan blade to yang ini eh? uh all the yang ni is soft green yang ni uh all these things is we we don't have any level this one i edit the material it is soft green soft green uh soft green plastic lah soft green uh, plastic that represent all the other component that don't have anything soft green plastic uh, usb plastic soft green this one that don't have us label usb plastic you can name it like this that's how we, we save the material usb plastic uh all right usb fan plastic uh, soft green usb fan plastic usb fan and i need to remember what what is the name okay so i save it so it will save to your permanent library and also i need to hide this thing remember i have uh i hide this thing ah uh, this part okay another thing yang ear ni also eh? ear ni ear ni also i at the material i name is uh soft green rubber ear okay i save it it will save to your Materials. It will still, still, everything you save will be 
uh, it will be there if you put under meter you scroll down at the end to other but the, they are can put if i click as in uh soft green it will be there and eh? will be there soft green so my soft green will be the bottom is what will be in your permanent library that's my, my point and also the uh this one eh? uh, you need because why nanti you don't have you open a new file you don't have to reassign but yang ini i edit also the material uh usb port okay usb usb i'm oh, no, sorry pcb eh? pcb green pcb uh, saya, saya kena ingat eh? I can ingat apa nama actually i can put in folder but the topic is okay i, I uh, green pcb green pcbs i got to name the name because okay another thing is uh metal ni tapi is okay it's common metal and uh oh yang tu you can use simply metal okay that's it i you already put uh i already put into pcb if i type green pcb it will be there green pcb that uh, would be green pcb yeah it will be there correct okay now i just quit eh? i just quit my uh because why when i click new eh, I, I discuss so i open a new file if i type all your your, your material will, will be saved eh? so green it will be there it will be there, there so i do you don't have to uh do a uh, rebuild your uh have to do it again assign metal everything is in the library so okay now i, I exit my key shot it's okay i exit my key shot okay i want to share you my solid work eh, class share my solid work can you see my solid work now class hello class Yes, yes. Okay, this this only work we have a simulation. I think I already explained to you when this one we have simulation. Okay, you, uh, yang ini uh, how the uh, is here is already have simulation. If I play this one, I I think you know how to do this. Right? You have a simulation like this to show the exploded drawing. Lah. Okay, uh, you want to you want to show in Kishot, eh? render it in Kishot eh? as animation as AVI file to show animation. Okay. Uh, in but before that uh, before that remember that just now uh i mentioned to you about okay i have this pink color eh? yesterday i want to show pink color this one it should be okay eh? i changed this one eh? the nose it to be pink color this one will be ni lah. all right okay one before that you already set the motion analysis okay you this one is your totally yang uh, up one is your totally time frame i want it means what uh when i play the animation eh? okay i have the animation eh? but whenever then it stop at seven then uh, that's it but i need to be paused until nine seconds eh? they need to be paused until nine seconds i need it to be paused until nine seconds. so i drag my total time frame need to nine eh? so this is all it work eh? nine seconds so let me save dulu this file okay so it means that it, it will export to key shot the animation and it will pause like this okay so key shot will render the animation okay all right Remember that we have the plugin, you have to install, eh? this is how you have sent to Kishot, eh? make sure you send to, alright, you send to Kishot. Okay, whenever you have animation, eh? Eh? you have animation in SolidWorks, when you click send to Kishot, so Kishot will ask, okay, output animation from motion study, you click yes, eh? because you have uh, animation on exploded, eh? uh, exploded of the component, yes, you click yes, so it will open the, Okay, you open your keyshot. Okay, I'll show you keyshot now. Okay, boleh nampak keyshot? Eh? You open your keyshot. Class. Class, keyshot nampak kan? Nampak keyshot, okay? Alright, okay. Nampak eh? Keyshot, okay? Nampak, alright. Right, so Keyshot, uh, nampak eh, whatever you punya animation, nampak tak? Keyshot, we have animation bar. If I just drag down, they have this. Let me zoom out eh. They have this thing. They have, you punya, animation is there. Okay, animation is there. Okay, in this Keyshot, okay, tapi kita kena reassign balik. Because this is, we have to reassign the material as I told you. Okay, remember, uh, okay, about the screen size, I don't need to explain. Okay, if you see it, by default, they have a ground plane in the end. We have ground plane. If you are uh, 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 on my ground grid, actually we don't need ground plane uh, for exploded animation. I want the thing to be floating in the air. 
we don't need anybody but previously i show you to be laying on the ground eh, that i i sim assimilate with the tabletop but this one no uh because i just want to show some simulation in terms of exploded of the component eh. you see the component so this one i off the ground plane uh ground grid uh, ground grid off so now how do we off the ground but you can see number the ground shadow how do we off it and the environment make sure ground shadow eh? take note and the environment ground shadow of it so it means it's floating on this background image okay i don't have to time you can make your background colorful if you want to uh you can make your okay because as i told you this is environment mapping right environment mapping you can make your environment like this eh? you can change the color if you want to eh? actually i editor okay sorry this one already standard one you can change the you can make gradient if you want uh you can make your punya gradient because it's color eh? uh, color this is uh sorry uh this one uh mm, you can make your background like this you want to make your background gradient okay you can make like that so you can change the gradient uh instead of color okay this one you want to make it um to make not too fancy right yeah you need depend on how much you want which Okay, you can make your uh, any kind of background. Tapi this one, I just want to save time that kita go for uh, and the environment, I want to go for standard. Just uh, any background yang just, uh, just a startup background, just to save. Okay, okay let's say you, you can make any background that you want. Okay, uh, this one, I just want to show the animation of exploded. Okay, and remember material, we have to reassign the, tapi I don't have to then we build like yesterday I already remember I already saved in the library apa nama dia saya dah lupa lah just now I saved eh sepatah I can put into folder is much better guys you can create folder for all you save into that folder what is the name of my thing? green? soft green eh? soft green eh yeah soft green okay soft green okay one thing before that eh sorry guys scene ini ini satu lagi you got to remember eh all the material here Unlink material, unlink. Select all the you know, all your component. Select and but and check the order your control. Okay, all your material up until here, but not the screw. What is it? And the select. It up at one. Do maybe one. We want this. We want this. Not the screw. Top casing. Not the screw. Blade. Everything with un unlink material. Not the screw. Unlink the material. Top cap. Bottom cap. Okay. Accept the screw. Then we right click mouse. Material. Unlink material. Because why? When you drag everything, you have the same material. There's a problem. Okay. Now it's soft green. Man, soft green front cap. Okay, soft green front cap or front cap, yes. Because I already, already have logo. So I have to do it again. Eh? It's got in, in your library. Soft green front casing. This one. Okay, already have the uh, image of the rabbit. Soft, uh, soft green. Yeah, mana soft green USB pen plastic. Okay, this is a young common one. Eh? USB pen plastic. Okay, okay, you can even you can even copy and paste lah. Bisa you drag and drop, copy material, and the bottom is paste, paste material, mana paste. Okay, this one copy material, come on, this one select, paste material, oh, paste material, and also the paste material. Okay, sepatutnya I I can make the one, eh? the one that renders the image. This one yang make the USB can stand stand with uh, at standing position is much better lah tapi itu let kita can go for that lah tapi the one that show you just lying on the you know on the tabletop all right um and also yang ini also paste material okay then this one you go see and sometimes if you cannot select you can go for scene select scene hide it okay hide part okay yang ini paste material and okay can you see the nose there okay, if i i show what well, yeah, i show all show all part can you see the nose already have because why in my solid work i already have different number tak? i already had different color on this surface yeah, it, the nose actually is together is one part as your top casing eh? 
of my top my magazine because at the point it's the solid work can be so this one i can assign plastic uh red plastic kind of red shiny plastic on the nose here okay on the nose here and maybe the material too i can add, edit a little bit more kepada not too red maybe like pink skin okay right uh, okay so on the scene then i hide this one Okay, remember that this one, yang ini, I cakap you everything, you punya ni is fake with 0.25, eh, to make it more curve, eh. Even uh, the top casing, the blade also make it, the uh, punya radius, eh, and the properties 0.25, eh, 0.25, curvature. So, this one, eh, this one, uh, you punya properties, under properties, which we get, eh, properties is 0.25. You rounded the corners, the, you make a rounded edges, eh, rounded edges. Alright, what about this one? Ini adalah nama dia adalah uh, soft green apa? Soft green apa nama dia tadi saya jumpa? Soft rubber. Soft green rubber, rubber, bunny rubber. Mana dia? I just name it. Soft green rubber, yeah, yeah. So, this one. Soft green rubber, yeah, drag down. So, you have this thing. This is a rubber material. Okay, and uh, also cap also make sure you need 0.25 also round the round the edges bottom cap also 0.25 around the edges and this one suppose must be also around the edges the 0.25 the component the pen already done okay now we hide this thing i hide this part uh moto eh? moto hide this part i hide the part okay moto i have not said okay yang ini also rounded edges 0.25 to make it rounded edges and also paste material paste material the green plastic and okay for moto i to because i tak save the library for material moto moto is just a metal metal suppose i save the library tapi now my metal 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 brush metal brush black not metal gray metal gray metal metal craft black for motor body and metal chrome for the shaft all right that's going to be your motor and also metal for the screw okay just to save time yes okay screw is already all metal okay now i hide this part hide this part and about your usb fan this one metal metal wrap metal rough gray for usb port and apa nama tadi my green upsb kan eh? the green your name red green pcb green pcb yeah that's green pcb one okay already dah pasal kita you don't have to do you just get raw because we, we save the material library okay yang ini tadi metal balik uh copy this one select this one just to be fast uh, copy material and this one for the in space material that will be the button uh. i think okay show all and uh, show show all parts okay everything is there okay let me save as save as my usb pen animation animation file okay i save as a key shot you need Okay, uh, you can make a fancy background you want to, but you can make uh, a gradient background so you can explore this thing. Uh, this one I just quickly to show you, eh? quickly to show you uh, animation of it. Okay, animation. So how we do animation eh, class? Class, are you there? Hello, class. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, the, we we have the animation at this end. But eh? um, we render it. Uh. You render it. Uh, to show the animation um, this is good for your presentation uh, uh, when you want to experiment your product eh? so okay let me pause go back here you need scroll you know but then play reverse you know how to do that make sure your camera view is something why i make my camera view lower eh? why it's not at the center lower here yeah? because uh nanti while it's a uh, exploded view the camera is rotating around the product eh? because i make it lower there's a reason by that how much any there's a reason because why Okay, let me just check. Okay, go back a little bit upper screen. Okay, when you go for energy, can you see that? Uh, I just want to explain to you there. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you punya animation in SolidWorks, nampak tak? It stop 
at 7 eh I'm but until 9 seconds then it's pause because why I need to be like that because your solid work just now the stop exploded stop at 7 seconds remember in solid work I extend the frame to, to 9 eh? so maybe it pause so for because I need that's the reason I do that until that until 9 seconds all right okay let me save the loads thing okay this is my camera view okay to do animation like this eh? you render for animation uh we have a shortcut eh? can you see there's a bottom animation wizard eh? animation wizard eh? plus eh? See, eh? you click at animation wizard okay what type of animation you want to do eh? okay like this one you want to show the exploded view eh? so there's a lot over oh, you can make fade keyframe but i just basic like i i explain to you just basic i want to go for um rotation eh? Uh, sorry, not rotation, sorry. Uh, no, not this one. This model part animation. We have two category, model part animation and camera. So I want to go for camera animation. You mean the the I am the 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 product the USB fan is not is not moving. Only the camera, camera view is moving. I want to orbit around the product while the product is in exploded. Eh? Later the product will explode and eh? exploded uh, view part. Eh? So I don't want to go for model part animation. I want to go for camera animation. The, the, the second category, I want to go for mana the orbit. Uh, orbit is where you punya nampak the camera is rotating around your product. I want to go for that. Okay, this animation reason. Eh? Then I click next. Okay, say so you add camera because I already okay. I add camera. Camera that because I uh, actually default is camera one. Actually you can make. Eh, remember I show you how to click camera. I just click add camera. Then what is your view? Camera one. Then I click next. Okay, be careful of it. Okay, my duration is now remember nine second. Duration is nine seconds. So I change nine seconds, nine seconds. So everything you click here, everything is nine seconds. Duration of animation nine second. Okay, the degrees. I want it to be a bit not 360 degree because the little bit I want it to be about 120 degree. Eh? From here that you rotated about 120. Not 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 360 degree is too fast. Eh? For nine seconds, full rotation is too fast. Eh? So 120 degrees is good enough. Then I click at finish. Okay, finish. So it will do if you play. Ah, uh, nampak tak? If you play, nampak tak? You punya camera is turning around kan? It's orbiting the product. Can you see guys? Are you listening or not? Okay, make sure your camera view to better view lah. This okay. This one to show your product. Okay, this is how you do uh, animation. Okay, animation in uh, key shot. Eh? Okay, uh, this one I skip. Uh, I just to show you quick one lah because I didn't remember yang when I render still in image previous. Uh, previously yang uh, I add lighting. This one you don't have a backlit image. Eh? This is eh? maybe you can add lights lah eh, to make it more better. This one I just use default environment startup eh? environment you want so you can actually you can adjust like you want to do better environment lighting before you do animation uh, this one i just really to show you lah. so just based on the default uh, environment for your lighting and we do animation eh? just to idea we can do animation okay uh, it shows if your product is assembled mode, eh? okay it's rotated 120 degree eh? color 360 degree is too fast guys. Okay? You pick up the orbit, one full circle is too fast. So, okay, maybe we can adjust the camera view. Tapi never mind. Okay, I, let's say I agree with this view. Okay, if I want to adjust it, it will be, let me check. If I adjust it, will it be okay? I need to undo back my add animation. So you mean the animation wizard tool will be restart again. We just start it here. Maybe I want to undo uh, my camera view. Ni. Camera. Ni. Okay, this camera, free camera and eh? free camera, maybe I make it a little bit lower angle like this much better and it a little bit higher. And I can see more better. Okay, then I do another animation wizard, uh, orbit, next, camera one, not camera one, sorry. Again, this is free camera and eh? free camera. This one I add null camera. Okay, this view. Uh, I want it to be this angle, eh? the lower angle is much better than this, and that I will save. This is camera two, eh? camera two, you can name it. Eh? You can, okay, it's unlock it, unlock, you can name your camera need to, you can rename the camera, what is the name, it's like this, uh, you double click at it, eh? yeah, camera two, then you delete, delete, okay, yeah, camera, 
two and lock it you can save your camera view you cannot say click and save it's safe okay I want to go, okay, free camera, you dah kacau lah, you go to camera 2, okay, that angle eh, that camera 2, make sure camera 2, you go for animation wizard, okay, I want to go for orbit, then I click at next, and uh, add camera, I want to be in camera 2, click at next, uh, duration is 9 second, okay, this is important, eh? your from solid word, 9 second, duration is 9 second, uh, angle is 120 degrees, okay, not too fast, then click finish, then it's done. They already set the image. If you play, there they are the thing. Uh, this lower angle is much better. Just now is ready uh, to high. Eh? Make it lower angle. So you can see the inside. Okay. All right. Okay. If we are satisfied with the one, okay, we render the final animation. Okay, guys, okay. take note. Eh? Okay, how to render animation? This one is just preview on the knee. Eh? You want to render animation? Render. Render is in it. Take note. Render. Okay. And you want to go for. Okay. Before, okay, this one, the folder tadi, uh, okay, key shot, I want to go for my folder. Okay, uh, okay, I want to do this for select my folder, yeah, this folder, and uh, this is name, eh? uh, my USB animation 2. Okay, okay, the format of your name, okay, make sure you're, okay, you want to render as, because this is not still image, eh? this is not still image, it's JPEG. JPEG is a still image, this one is a, movie right animation movie should be um hold on yeah um yeah we will remain is japan that render it will it will render as a movie file okay? yeah they, actually another software they have avi right yeah we use still jpeg yeah still jpeg uh, but then they were compressed to make a movie file eh? uh output supposed to be i cannot record it's supposed to be avi okay tapa, we use jpeg Make sure nine, uh, 100%. Class, are you there? Are you listening or not, class? Are you still with me, class? Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, guys. This is still image. Sorry, guys. Animation. Sorry, guys. My mistake. No, no. This is animation. Okay. This is just now for still image. No. Okay, correction. Eh? Correction. No. There, we are still image. Animation. Because we are to render animation. That's why. That's why I cannot see why there's no AVI file. No, that one in I explained to you about how to render still image. No. For animation, you click that animation tab okay uh of course you don't want your resolution yang just now 256105 that's too much gonna take longer you want to movie file animation file avi file just take smaller file 1024 is good enough huh? 1280848 also quite big let's say okay let's say i want to go for 1280848 animation okay but if you go for 2560 too much eh? just a little bit this 120 times 848 eh? the the resolution of your name okay entire duration not work area duration mean our duration is nine second make sure it's entire duration okay video output uh my uh video output is uh what is your file you want to me uh my usb pen animation tool lah, I name it uh and okay here okay here is the folder where you want to render okay i want to put it in my folder here okay, i want to put in my folder and make sure this one AVI, you can go for movie, Apple, eh? Apple QuickTime, movie, FLV also, any format. Okay, by default, even MP4 also can. Okay? okay, let's go for AVI. And the quality, I'm talking about quality of your animation. Okay, the JEP format. Uh, I think, okay, um, okay, I think that's it. Um, option, yes, option, yes, sample rate. Um, for animation, this now I put 600. Okay, for animation, okay, 271 frame. Um, let me let me save dulu at this moment. Um, because option, if I go for 600 frame, I'm afraid it will take longer process and make sure I need to reduce. Let, let, let's do it. Does it affect? I want to make sure animation, okay. Everything is there. I Here, do we have any setting about quality here? This quality of your JPEG. Uh, okay. I think that's it. Okay. It means, guys, for nine seconds, we have 271 frame. Uh, be careful about it. Okay. Let, let me check. Below. Okay. Let's clear it. Clear render. I already make my all the file name is there. Which folder already there. Then we we'll click render. Then it will render. 
Nas Slope macam mana dia uh, how long it will take ok uh, ini baru frame 1 nampak tak guys can you see the, the appearance can you see the dialog ni the image it rendering guys frame 2 screen kecil nampak tak screen nampak kan can you see the screen it doing the rendering frame by frame di tengah so you wait for it you wait for it the random uh, I suggest you guys that don't have to do uh, long animation uh, just uh, maybe 10 second, 9 seconds is good enough lah. Maybe you have another clip, right? You have another simulation, so another, another, another episode. This part episode about exploded. Maybe you guys have simulation mechanism and simulation in solid work. You can render in it. Uh, your creativity lah, guys. Eh? I'm talking how you want to present. Uh, better plan your work lah. You sketch dulu on paper what type of storyboard you want to show animation. You plan dulu before instead of you directly do then you think apa it's quite a uh, uh, problem juga eh? better plan your work uh, plan your work on paper to write dulu what type of kind like uh, simulation you want to do and then you how you position your camera view it depend on your storytelling uh, during your presentation okay it's good eh? but in your presentation you have render still image and also you have some animation also to show some apa, simulation the movement of your mechanism or maybe at least like this one you know, exploded view of your, your component is good plus while we are waiting in uh, frame 11 or 271 um, while we are waiting ada apa-apa nak cakap apa? takkan saya bercakap ni ya? come on lah ada apa-apa ni Sorry lah class, I, I just about explaining lah fully lecture kan, I hope you understand. Uh, I just give you exposure guys about uh, the important about product rendering. Uh, it's good if you know it, eh, you take the advantage lah when you have uh, your solid work CAD model. Eh, you already done eh, your uh, solid work assembly. So take the advantage lah when you can visualize, eh, visualize, eh, it's good. Eh, so not just render still image just now i show you still image okay actually you don't have to show animation to show to your client eh? sometimes you show the still image render and show to your client and it will look and it will give some feedback maybe you have to do some alteration modification so it will save cost eh? rather than directly uh you straight away build the prototype eh? so when you build prototype invest a lot of money eh? so you look at first and discuss with your client and how your product looks like they always these changes and when they do edit maybe you show some design variation because why when you show just on paper sketching even something on solid work drawing people cannot visualize it eh? not all people can read drawing people will not quite that understand eh? engineering drawing that you make from solid work eh? remember a set of working drawing that is meant for documentation eh? also you can send discuss with your client to other department Actually, the engine drawing tool is the finalized one eh, before prior to manufacture because engineering all the detailed drawing of your component will be sent to the ground floor, manufacturing floor for all the machinists to manufacture it because the machinists will take the each component detailed drawing, then they will do fabricating, eh? they will do lacing or maybe they will do drilling, eh? they will do milling and so on. Eh? It based on the all detailed drawing of your uh, component you have a set of working drawing okay i'm talking about documentation where we want to present to other department to explain to the customer to explain to the market about the product you cannot show the engineering drawing so you have to, to in terms of communication there's a benefit of doing this thing so you you have some intro uh, some some friendly version some uh uh upper, what do you call to, to explain about your product eh? so maybe before engineering going you show the document so you show some uh, 3d rendering uh, about the product how the products looks like eh? there's a lot of benefit eh, of this thing product rendering 
Lama baru 20 eh. <laughs> Lagi 271 You want to wait what? 21 Berapa masa eh? Ini 221 of 271 uh. Ya yeah, bila, bila When you do this You do, 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 do not wait lah You, you dah finalize Then you render You leave it Your laptop like that And Pergi makan Keluar minum ke Atau overnight You tidur Tomorrow morning Then you need Then your Admission is done Unless guys, eh, kalau you have a really, really powerful computer when they can do network rendering, eh, they can uh, send, eh, they can distribute to other CPU. Uh, that one is very fast. Eh. Uh, network. Uh, yeah, T-Shot, they can do that. You can send. Eh, but I, I, uh, ni lah, this one I explain to you basic. You mean you have parallel processing. Eh? They can send to different computer working on uh, parallel. Eh? Serentak bekerja. Eh? We call it network rendering. The send. So it's very fast. Sekejap. Macam big, big studio memang, of course, eh, they use network rendering. So, they have a lot of CPU. Uh, okay, then send. One file to the send to all. Then, when they do render like this, the final render, then the, all the CPU, they divide it. They run parallel processing. And they call it network rendering. Uh, there is also now available, we call cloud rendering. You also can. You can send. No file. Katakan you build your video in T-Shot. You can also send internet. Eh, you type cloud rendering. Eh. Uh, you can send online rendering, then there's one the, another agency will do a rendering for you. Tapi you have to pay them uh, based on hours lah. Uh, if you have some money lah, it means sometimes maybe your computer is not strong enough eh, to do rendering. You already done the uh, material already add in case short, lighting there, but for animation it takes some time, really long process, eh? uh, takes time. So you can send your file to online rendering, they have it, eh? but you have to pay. You have to pay, then they will render for you for, I think, by two, three hours already done because they already have a cloud rendering. They have a lot of servers and they will render for you. They sell like people doing business. Yeah. Uh, that's how they do things. Yeah. This is a world of 3D CGI, guys. Yeah. World of 3D graphic. Banyak benda yang you can explore. Sir. Yeah. Uh, yes. May I ask, what do we need to submit during Uh, yeah. Project. Yeah. For your project, you of course you have presentation. Yeah. The first thing I told you, you have presentation. You have to make a YouTube presentation. Remember your previous presentation YouTube. Yeah. You have to make the same YouTube presentation. I want your YouTube presentation to be really, really impressive. So you and your group member use your creativity. Okay. For example, you want to promote your product. You and your team as a company. You are in under one team. Eh? You want to sell your product. You want to show to people about your product. You want to explain to people. You want to tell people the good thing about your product. So you use your creativity in your YouTube presentation. You present it. Okay, I cannot give you any format. I want you to use your creativity. You be given about maximum 20 minutes only for your presentation. Maybe the longer, the most is 30 minutes. Lah. Okay. 20 to 30 minutes, use that 20 minutes or 30 minutes that you do not put everything. As long everybody talk, but right? each of one you is kind like you are a salesperson. Kalau if you present, you present like more like a technical person, it's kind like boring your presentation. If you present your, your product, you want, let's say, as if as you want to sell your product, you make to want to convince people your product is good. So you use your creativity. Uh, you and you remember. So you said macam mana, how you want to present. Uh, what, what I mean, each one of you have to talk, eh? not just one person talk. So you make your presentation really, 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 what can I say it? Um, uh, apa tu? Your presentation really impressive lah. Use that 20 minutes. That is no format. Okay, for this final presentation, eh, you think, that is no format of it. Eh? So I want it to use your creativity in terms of This we call communication, good vocal and a good video presentation. Uh, so one of it is to make it stand out your presentation, the one that I explain you right now. You have a content of this also at the end. Understand that? You first maybe you explaining about your product features, right? Then uh, yeah, the main content too, maybe you have you have 3D render rendering still image of your product. Superimpose with background photo. Uh, I don't know what your product about. Okay, because each group different title, something that relevant. Maybe that one explain to you. You can use the keyshot, the power of keyshot to to visualize it. 
explain when your visual graphic is good you do less talking actually you don't have i, I didn't say you do less talking your explanation is easy when you do say you show people are clear better understand when you do presentation you show 3d graphic like this it make your, your product more stand out right? rather than you show just a simple sketching by hand and kind of people it's not that impressive make your presentation stand out make your presentation outstanding okay that's what we call persuasive eh? what we call. remember i cakap sketching persuasive sketch persuade people we need to persuade we need to persuade people to buy our product we need to persuade people to assign us to give us that project because when you are out there you will you will compete with all other agency to get the project from your client your client will, will look on all different not just you they will look on another uh, another design consultant another design consultant but when your presentation you show them this is your opinion then he will get impressed by your work this is one of it now so then then you will hire you will get the job you will get the project something like that like 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 the one that i do the paperwork for example that's an example lah. i do paperwork for board shape i do rendering so uh the administration uh, uh lulus kan eh uh saya punya kata kerja and they, they have start building it kind of like me lah. that's how you do things uh, to make you your works uh professional impressive and so on to uh outstanding eh, stand out eh, a thing. use the advantage of this okay okay this week is about okay since in your uh, syllabus this week about product rendering and visualization eh, that's why i can tell you this week next week kita go for different topic eh, about your set of engineering drawing though, and to explain it a bit remember uh to, uh your project to, uh you have presentation uh since you asked me so you have to do you already done solid work modeling uh do visualization like i explained to you and i just need to use it using keyshot and uh also you have also to uh okay you have report eh? you have report to me major report report to format to just simple report you just compile of your work and plus the in your report you put together if you have uh some 3d rendering image put into me okay also your, your report uh you uh presentation youtube your design report and also your portfolio class are you listening or your, your portfolio but nanti i explain to you in the next class about group portfolio eh? group portfolio and also individual portfolio okay group portfolio to portfolio to where you compile all your punya product image render eh? product image either sketching or 3d rendering uh, put in there into your group portfolio because group portfolio is uh, important also uh, besides report eh? report is fully written detail and eh? sometimes people don't have a uh, kind of uh, it's a shortcut to show your work is portfolio besides report report people have to read through chapter through chapter through chapter and the end is conclusion and suggestion but sometimes people need to quick review what you have done eh, or your project so you show your portfolio your portfolio is full of your sketching image your design and uh, also your 3d rendered image that i explained to you and this one using keyshot okay and lot of, if you have a lot of 3d rendered image much better to be put into your portfolio okay one thing i can tell you that's a good thing about uh what uh, instead uh yang ini eh, kalau if you look if i show you my photo eh, this is the old photo of the this is the actually the usb fan that i bought nampak eh class hello class can you see nampak uh, uh, ini actually the usb fan that i bought then we modified it into uh, i remodel balik this is last semester eh, during engineering solid work project right i asked my student all of you buy uh, usb mesh world different model different version then they share to me nobody share the same kind of model so this is mine i do it first that i explain to them how to do part modeling and so on SMD. then they start doing it uh, their own uh, because their punya usb fan is different so one of the thing uh, this is good eh? you take the part existing you buy and you model again then you make better design i didn't mean better you make more much more look more because if you look at this current this i think i don't know which company that make this this kind like not that impressive just logo like this they have bunny ear so that's why we make it we model balik we make it much look like this lah. Uh, this one eh? you can see the photo the render eh? class hello class 
Can you see the rendered image ni? Can I show you? Yes sir. Yang ah so kita make it little bit much better, make it more impressive kan? Uh, more more interesting. Uh, we need logo. Uh, we have maybe tu lah rabbit. Kalau cat, we have cat ears kan? The elephant, we have elephant ears. Sometimes just a simple product. You see, okay, if you yeah to make it more ni lah. Kind like little bit like innovation also. So all these things memang really the accurately model guys eh? all the component is there this is not simply just roughly modeling eh? all the component that PCB bought are based on standard size and eh? all the compartment the motor size also was based on standard motor that will be used okay and everything so this one can be sent to CAM software and CNC machine definitely they can do it. so when you send your design and eh? you upload your portfolio you show the exploded view in render in 3D then you show promote your portfolio show to your potential then there will be a investor uh, people want to collaborate eh? manufacturing company eh? they, they want to okay join with you collaborate so they will do the manufacturing because they have all the machine you don't have the machine you are only design consultant right collaborate with them so you can form a company lah. so you make your own product so 50 percent based on mutual agreement so you get profit on that so that's the thing all right class I think that's all so sorry later I show you the animation because animation is still running though it takes now after that, I share you in the WhatsApp. Okay, class. I think that's all for product rendering and visualization. All right. Uh, then we go for attendance and on there. Okay, this is the final output of the 3D animation. I think this shot takes about 30 to 40 minutes for for it to ren, uh, finish the rendering. Okay, this uh, 3D animation is good for you to put in, uh, put it in your presentation, eh, in your YouTube presentation. So, easy for you to explain eh, about the component of your product eh, when you show it uh, in 3D animation mode in uh, exploded, eh, exploded mode of your 3D animation. Okay, finally, to end this presentation, uh, I really hope you guys understand about the important and the benefit of product rendering and visualization in product design. Uh, I really hope you guys uh, make use of it uh, in your this I2D course and also in the future when you take any design project or any design course. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.